Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Andrew Chicken, and welcome back to another live stream. It's time to play more ranked. When we last left off, we were at 61 TP in Diamond 3, with a pretty decently positive win rate for once. And uh, that brings us up to 23 out of 75 matches for the Ultimatum Fernando skin. We are officially pretty much a third of the way there, which is a good pace for me, but apparently I'm ridiculously slow compared to some other people who play ranked. I don't know how they do it. But uh, let's go ahead and queue for some ranked. And uh, yeah, just going to be another ranked stream. I know I've been doing a lot of them recently, but that's because we have a skin to grind for. So, plus I think it's just good content. From my experience, Scorch Nando and ranked feels bad. I guess Aegis is back. You've played Scorch since the nerf. I think, I think Scorch will still be good. But maybe I'll be proven wrong. Uh, you do have to have a certain play style in mind. Uh, you, you know, you have to play aggressively, but also have to understand how to control your shield and stuff like that. It is more difficult than Aegis, I guess you would say. So maybe that means we'll see an uptick in Aegis just because it's easier. For example, letting your low, your lower pick play Fernando just because you need a tank, and then they play Aegis, and it's just normal, I guess. And certainly you can get a, a massive whopper of a shield now with Aegis. I mean, you could last patch as well, but... The comparison between base shield and Aegis shield now is like, woomph. 2,000 extra shield health, and it regenerates faster, and it scales better with Guardian, because Guardian is a percent base increase. I mean, yeah, it's a good shield if you want it, for sure. I just think it's much better to have the extra damage of Scorch, which also means extra ultimate generation, because it's Scorch, and you do more damage. That's that's personally, I, I think there's still huge value in that. We need some BK rollouts and ranked, Andrew. If we get a good map for it, we can. We get Serpent Beach or Timber Mill, something like that. You think your Scorch Shield build might be worth more worthwhile now? Uh, I mean, I don't know. It increases the regeneration rate by 25%. There could be some value in that. The match I did play in today's video, though, I used my normal build, and it felt fine. My shield management was harder, yeah, but... I still think that's okay. <laughs> Maybe it's just the way I play Fernando is different to how the average player does. But I, yeah, I noticed the nerf, but at the same time, I think I can still just play Scorch as I usually do. Just have to be more careful about it. Positioning is a huge thing if you're going to play these other two talents now. Uh, I went against, I, not really a bunch of Wrecker, I went against Leon with Wrecker though. So they did have some, it just wasn't, I guess, a full team buying Wrecker, because we didn't have a second shield tank. But yeah, I imagine when you do have a second shield tank, that is going to make Fernando pretty tough to play. But again, I have to wonder if it's still, if it would be worth it to go Aegis and get like an extra half a second duration on your shield when it's under heavy fire. Or if it would be more worth it to go for Scorch and have the extra damage. Which bear in mind, in Season 7, that extra damage on Fireball is huge because most people don't buy arcane warding if they just buy armor plating your fireball is still doing 100 percent damage so it's a really nice source of burst i think 
There's still so many Leon players in ranked, even with the nerfs, so I don't think it really affected the pick rate. You should check it. Well, I don't think we'd be able to see a noticeable shift in the pick rate. It's just been three days. I don't think they reset the data on these bots. Uh, but, yeah, I, I think she'll still be reasonably popular. She is still, at the end of the day, stronger than she was in Season 6. I've seen a good amount of Willow as well, though, at, in terms of the overall pick rate. Uh, I, I know she's pretty good as well. There's still a lot of, I guess, other good choices you can pick besides Leon, though. Like, even before the nerfs, I don't think Leon was the end-all, be-all character in, in Ranked. Like, I've faced against multiple Leons in Ranked, and we've won. And, yeah, she was good, competent, but I, I feel like Leon in her current state in the meta, isn't nearly as game-breakingly meta-defining as, uh, let's go back to, I don't know, uh, the end of 2022, Curse Revolver Androxus, uh, Seven. Those were way more meta-defining at the time than Leon was, in my opinion. Who is stronger right now, Willow or Leon? Uh, for me, I it's hard to say. Because there are certain things that they both do extremely well. Willow's mobility is much better. But at the same time, she gets countered by a lot of the same things that Drogo's does. Blast Flower can be good, but she's also a worse shield buster than Drogo's. I find it honestly more apt to compare her versus Drogo's than her versus Leon. They're kind of in two different classes, I almost feel. Okay, it's Jack Falls. Uh, I don't know what to ban, so I'm going to ban Khan. Because I know he got buffed this patch. So that seems like an easy ban for me. Uh, what else do we want to do, though? I think I'm going to let both Fernando and Leon through, just because I want to see how they feel. And Torvald, we'll let all of it through. Just because I want to see how they play in Ranked. So, that leaves us with another idea. Oh, I can ban Ying, right. She's still ban-worthy, I think. Yeah, there we go. Tree, yeah, there's Tree, too. Tree. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if they'll ban any of the traditional bans, it's though. Yeah, they do ban Torvald. Okay. Uh, it's Jack Falls. It's the Fernando map. I'm going to play Fernando here. Because yeah, yeah, I want to see how he feels. Stupid, no matter what. After the nerf. If, if you recall, to I think, was it the first ranked stream I did this season? It was either the first or second. I played a lot of Fernando on this map and absolutely popped off. So this will be a really good comparison of Scorch's strength in ranked uh, after the nerf, I think. They've got Grover. Yeah, that's very reasonable. I wonder if they'll go for Leon or if they're just not going to go for her at all. Is she a priority pick or not? Hmm. <laughs> In terms of other damage champions, you can go besides Leon or Willow, though. BK's still really good. Drogo's is really good if you don't counter him. Uh, Tyra can still be pretty decent, I would say. They picked seven? Okay. Whoa, we picked Rom Zin? Okay. <laughs> Rom pick? I guess it's just a Rom main. You know what? Fair enough. He did say he was going off tank from the start. Uh, who else is good? If you're on controller, I think Vivian is okay. Although she does get countered by Willow in terms of her shield, so... Yeah, I, I guess she's probably not the hottest. Uh, Shaolin, decent, except armor plating kind of screws him. Sati's pretty decent. Don't underestimate her. I feel like there are a lot more better flanks, though. Like, when I think of the flank class, I'm like, oh, Androxus can be great. Buck can be great in, a, in the right situation. Eevee, great. Uh, if you're sure, Kasumi can be great. Uh, <laughs> sure the player. Koga, absolutely excellent. Lex, uh, worse than he was. Still could be decent. They're banning your Maeve, okay, great, if you know how to play her. Uh, Moji, uh. Sky? Okay, pretty decent right now. Uh, after those buffs. Talus, pretty good. Seven. If you're Wiro, or Kana, or Questionator, eh, pretty good. Vatu, pretty dang good. Vora, pretty good. Zin, pretty good. It's like most of the flank class is like, wow, okay, that's awesome. And then I look at the damage, it's like, oh, Betty, bad. Cassie, eh, Dredge, eh. Imani, eh. Kinesa, bad. Leon, okay, she's good. Here's Octavia, somebody. pretty much only if you're on controller. Omen, ugh. Strix, ugh. Tiberius, eh. Victor, eh. it's like, oh, they're all kind of meh. Okay, great. What do we need to do? Uh, we could ban a second tank if we wanted. 
Uh, I'm gonna ban Inara because it's this map. They're banning your dudes. I don't know. Something's telling me the wall might be good. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> we could also ban a DPS. I'm just. I want to leave Leon open though because I want to see how it feels to play against her. So, ban what else would somebody. that leave us with? They banned Tyra. I was actually kind of thinking about that because Tyra's really good versus Rom. Who else could we ban? I don't know. I'm struggling to think. I mean, maybe BK would be a good ban. Loki. Mm. Ah, what the heck? Why not? <laughs> I'll ban my own BK. Yeah! <laughs> That's great. I'm good at this game. I promise. Controller players did note that they haven't noticed the difference since the nerf to aim assist, plus controller is dominating the current community pro scene. I guess they might not have nerfed it hard enough. At the end of the day, I appreciate that they're actually trying to fix it. Like, even if the first fix isn't good enough, I'm just glad to see some effort be made, you know? Because it has been a problem ever since they introduced crossplay, really, but even going back farther than that. And, yeah. We just want a fair experience, you know? All right, we need Ronald here to pick us a support. Furia. All right, that's a pretty solid option. They ended up going for Drogos, and we don't exactly have a super strong hit scan to counter him. We have Furia, we have Rom, we have Lex. All of them are hit scans and can technically do good damage to him, but they're also not the best, admittedly. And Drogos is going up to the top pick, yeah. It's a good call here, I think. It's Jack Falls as well. If that Drogos player plays Worm Jets, I don't think we're going to be able to touch them. So... Uh, certainly not me. I, I might be able to snipe with a fireball, but that's pretty much the limit as Fernando here. That seven pick is very fascinating, though. Presence. I mean, I really... I really want to know what's up with that. Thoughts on a headshot multiplier reduction item? Nah, I don't think that's the way to go about it. I... It's Kana? Oh, God. It's... There are three people I listed who can make Seven absolutely slay, even like though he's technically weak or whatever, and Khan is probably the best out of all three. <laughs> In fact, he is the best out of all three. We did a 1v1 tournament to prove it. Oh boy. Well, Scorch Speed. <laughs> I'm gonna play Scorch just as normal. And, uh, yeah, we'll get some Nimble. There we go. I'm ready. Have it replace armor plating? Oh boy. I just don't think the that's the way to go about it. Because that would disproportionately hurt a lot of characters. And also, if you're on keyboard, you don't need a headshot multiplier reduction. Like, it would really be a controller-only item. But that, I, just, I don't think an item is the proper way to balance the game like that. Five, I think four, if controller three, players are saying they don't notice the Amazus nerf, one. then just nerf Amazus again so and long. see where we go from there. Honestly. Alright, let's go. I forgot I was using this mount. Okay, well. Here we are. Have a fireball. Oh, I only have one. What happened to Lex? Bro, fell over. Well, there's a fireball. And Seven's going in. Let me block that. Oh, Zin's probably dead. Try to do some fire damage here to Atlas. Neither team is really holding point at all. <laughs> Lovely. Okay, well, Kana's dead. That's great. However, Fury is dead. That's not very great. And also, I pushed in way too far, I think. So, yeah, that's not good. It's the warm-up game. Don't you worry about it. We'll we'll improve probably after the second point fight. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, Lex is dead. I hear seven grappling. Oh, he's just back there. Okay. My shield got wrecked as well. Holy crap. All right, I'll throw that fireball back there. Just to scare Sarah's off. Didn't really do much. Need to position properly. This is where positioning matters as a tank. Alright, block some of that. I have a beam. I'm gonna put the shield down and just face tank, because I can also give Furious an ultimate charge. And, uh, fun fact, Furious ultimate, kind of a big deal. You know, just, just a little bit. I don't have my ult. I don't have ult for this. Okay, we're good. Uh, very interesting decision. You got touch. I'm just gonna go over here. Hit that fireball. 
wanted to put more pressure on Grover because I know Atlas was going to die. Ooh, forcing that ult out, but most of us are dead behind. Try and ult for these guys, and maybe go back to point. Fireball, shield. Oh boy. I got it! Let's go! <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, Kana, get out of here. I'm shielding. I need a beam up! I need a beam up! Beam me up, Scotty! Ah! <laughs> Darn it. At least we capped, though. At least we capped. That was so tight. Alright. Uh, let's get some rejuve now for that Furia. Gonna be very important with Solar Blessing. That's huge value. Oh boy. I think Saris went back over here. Yeah, there she is. She's super low. Incinerate them! How are you getting healed? Die. Thank you. Okay, he's just going after Rom again. Where is he going? Okay, I'll just block all of that. And anyone chasing that? No? Okay, there's a fireball. Clip Kana. Not sure where that beam went. Also, Rejuve's going to be double valuable here, because, yeah, Rom is playing subservience. Okay, this is pretty bad. Jeez. I'll just get in front here, I'll shield this as much as I can. My shield's dead. I have ult, though. I'm going to pop it. Get in the beam. There we go. Oh. I should be fine, though, I think. Atlas, no rewind. He's got two supports on him, though. Man. But I can block that. I blocked my fireball, though. That shield lasted a little bit too long. Fireball at Saris. I feel like we're kind of just engaged with a brick wall right here, you know? I'm trying to shield for that Fury best I can. I'll dash through. Ah, uh, they're all just dead, though. Okay. Get as much ultimate charge as I can, but I'm going off the map. That's a shame. Early game double support. Uh, they were just able to keep that Atlas alive indefinitely. We don't have a proper damage champion either. Which isn't the end of the world. But. Yeah, it does make it a little bit harder to kill Atlas, I think. Here, I have this fireball. Wow, that was a terrible fireball. Anyways. Lucana was low. Not gonna be able to finish that, though. I'm just gonna try and go for overtime right here. Alright, one point for overtime. Need help, though. Oh boy. Dash. Alright, she got her Shadow Travel off. Try and shield here just a little bit to give these guys some cover. Looks like we're good. Fireball! God, that was bad. Okay. Wow, I'm just whiffing all these, huh? <laughs> Uh, not really sure what I want to be aiming at. Alright, there's a fireball on you. Rebound, but that's okay. Huge fireball and damage up there. I am going to save my ult, though, because... You know, just in case we don't push this. My ultimate is simply too valuable to waste on that. Alright, I'll throw a fireball back there. I need to be careful with my positioning, though, so I'll kind of play around this pillar, I think. Man, I am not predicting these fireballs. Okay, there's that. Uh, I'll do it. We're bringing out Zen ult. Furia ult. Seven ult comes out, but I think we'll be okay. Huge beam. I'll dash through. Grover's one. I'm not able to hit that fireball, though. Alright, there goes Atlas. And we push. Alright, worth it. Worth it. 20% to my ult. 20% to Zen and Furia ult. We're all breaking even right now. Very risky, because they could cap with comeback mechanic now, and our best ults are down, but maybe it'll be good, I don't know. <laughs> solar XD? Yeah, Solar Blessing. Pretty pretty good, this patch. Probably need some Unbound? Yeah, that's a good point. I will buy two points of that before getting any more Rejuve. It's still 65% anti-healing, so I can wait for the Rejuve. Hmm. I'm so happy that people are actually, like, finally abandoning Cherish, because after all the buffs they've given to Solar Blessing to make it more consistent, it's just better now, especially after what they did to Cherish as well. Cherish doesn't even provide really that much healing at all. It's just worse. It's just flat out worse. 
Alright, huge heals. Uh, yeah, he knows my ult is down. I'm hiding in this corner. <laughs> Run away! Okay. We gotta get point here soon. Come back, mechanic, remember? Fireball and Drobos. I'm trying to be doing some more damage here to Atlas. I couldn't mess up his shot. His rewind is down, but we don't have a healer. That was a terrible ROM ult. Why, why are you ulting the ROM, the wall, dude? <laughs> okay, fireball. I'm gonna die here. Yeah, it's just something I have to accept. Looks like the risk did not pay off, because now they're going to capture this objective and we didn't have our ults for it. Lex ult gets one. If we can keep getting overtime touch, that'd be great. Lex is going for it again. They got Drogo's ult back, though. That's gonna go right into Lex. That's a really bad pick for us. Uh... Oh! I think I'm just feeding. <laughs> I'm just feeding. Okay. Well, that's a shame, but... Yeah. We kind of did that to ourselves, really. Poor Zin can't do anything. I do feel like it's Lex getting more of the kills here. Just based on my quick glances at the kill feed. Did I see Seven go up there? Or am I tripping? Oh no, he's back there. <laughs> okay. Bro's just flying. Oop. Line that up. Oh, I killed Atlas. Let's go. Huge. Fireball. She's low, and Lex gets the kill. Yeah, you see Lex getting a lot of kills there. Fury, heal me. Yeah. Get that ultimate charge. You're already at max ult. Get those credits. Yeah. Here, I'll throw a fireball up there. Just gonna hold up. Fireball. Ah, I only hit one. Okay, fair enough. What am I throwing fireballs at right now? Oh, okay. Well, we're blocking some stuff, I guess. Oh, Fury is gonna die, though. Alright. <laughs> Retreat! Oh, that was fat! <laughs> oh, that was yummy, that fireball right there. Goodness. Okay. Zin, stand behind me. Zin, get back. Oh, my shield's down. Okay. Stay blessed. I'll throw a fireball over there. Alright. Wasn't really necessary. Fireball. Oh, that was the wrong button. I'm gonna die now. <laughs> Do not mean to press that. I squeezed my mouse. No, I'm throwing. Uh, Alright, I'm just gonna save for more items. They are pushing pretty hard right now, but Rom's able to get the double kill with some help from Zinn. And with that, as long as we can control Atlas on the point here, we should be good. Here, let me get some damage into him. Boom, there we go. I'll force myself to learn Gyro eventually. I've heard mixed opinions on Gyro. I've heard that it can be really beneficial, but I've also heard that it's not. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not a controller person, so don't listen to me. It seems like a really cool idea, though. Ah, uh, seven didn't get touch. Okay. Let me get any extra ultimate charge that I can. We're up to 83%. So me and Furia are a lot closer to our ults this time. That should be way better for us. And my ult's gotten some pretty huge value in terms of blocking ults. Uh, so yeah. Can we just play objective, asks Furia. Nah. <laughs> we gotta win the team fight. What do you mean? Capture point spawning in 15. I suppose we do kind of win objective a little bit better than them, though, at this stage in the game. Because they've got double support, we've got double tank. I don't know. I'm going to go right again. But, yeah. Probably play closer to the objective this time a little bit. A cheater in Paladins? Wow, who's cheating? Here, I have a fireball. Uh, my ultimate is pretty much back. Ooh, nice ult. You went for Lex. Okay. Here, I have a fireball. Here, I'll just save you. How does that sound? Get the kills. Get the kills. In. There's that. Alright, there. Uh, and... Am I forced to point? Alright, Furia, you stand there. I'm gonna push up. Try and build my ult back. 
Because you've still got your ult. Alright, block all that. Fat fireball. Sarah's is dead. Alright, we've got this ult now, so let's throw fireball at Atlas. Fireball. Block his ult. Dash to knock him back. There we go, he's dead. And uh, they still have overtime. Rover's going for it. Charge him down. There we go. And that's GG, I think. Yeah, seven's just a little bit too late. Okay, there we go. Good stuff. Your Lex is cheating according to the Kana himself. And Tazi says, I don't think he's cheating. He's a roller? If he's cheating, he's so bad. I have no idea if he's cheating or not. Let's look at the kill count. 15 kills, also highest deaths on the team. I don't know. We haven't spectated? Really? Well, okay. You know what? I trust Kana on this. Report for hacking. We got five kills there, as Fernando, we're still able to do a decent amount of damage. Not as many kills as I'm used to, and the shield nerf was definitely noticeable. Also, Kana got 14 kills with seven. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. Seven needs a buff. Trust me. Yeah. 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 <laughs> He's been cheating for a while. I suppose I can replay him as well. Here. Uh, slash replay. One, two, five, one, two, three, seven, three, six, four. Because Diamond Plus matches do get saved as replays. Alright. Uh, okay, he's number five, I think? Or number four. I think he's number four. The problem is my numpad is also tied to my keybinds on OBS, so something might break here. Yep. <laughs> Alright. Uh, <laughs> well, there we go. We're spectating Lex. Page up, I believe, speeds it up. Press it two times, just to be safe. I know it can break if you go too high. Alright, and slow it down. Let's take a look. <laughs> Bro got popped. Okay. Uh, we're gonna have to press the keybind again. I'm sorry, chat. Uh, page up a little bit. Page down. Alright. So awkward. Oh, he just decimated Kana, though. Let's keep an eye on him. That was a bit weird. Oh, yeah, no, he's cheating. <laughs> you see that lock? <laughs> Kana's diffing him, though. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay, glad we reported him. Good call, Kana. Uh, I'm sorry I didn't notice it sooner. Just, it's very hard to notice when he's actually on your team, right? Yeah, he set the emesis up to a thousand. That's, that's pretty crazy. Okay. <laughs> it's still amazing that he died ten times, though. Really goes to show that cheaters just have terrible positioning and game sense, really. Uh, got 15 TP from that win, but I feel a bit guilty about it. But, what are you going to do about it? He was also unloading entire mags through Atlas Walls, really. Oh boy. That's a shame. Oh, by the way, Kana. Hey, you want to do this? <laughs> Maybe, possibly, potentially? Yo, let's go! I invited you the other day. I didn't realize you were in a party with XSTB because I didn't realize XSTB changed his name. So... That was a bit awkward. <laughs> he shot me once and I told Kana he was cheating. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm sorry I didn't notice that. I... It's genuinely... It's pretty much impossible to tell if he's actually on your team. Unless he's doing some really crazy stuff. Why don't you queue on a U? Because I play on NA. I'm from North America. I don't want to have bad ping. Because a lot of the characters that I play are very ping dependent. You know, I can't play Bomb King on a U. Not a good idea at all, in the slightest. What is your main Eevee build? Most used unrelated to enemy comp. Eevee. Most of the time I play Snow Globe with this build. Although, recently, I have been experimenting with wormhole style builds like this this is a wormhole build this is a snow globe slash over the moon build but with extra health in place of speed on soar 
And then there's also this, which has movement speed on Blink, as well as Soul Reset. It's more of an over-the-moon build. I've just been... These are more experimental builds, I would say. This one is pretty good, though, for Wormhole. And then there's also another over-the-moon build, which, actually, now that I realize, is almost exactly the same as this build. Except, actually, no, it's not. It's slightly different. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, this is a classic one I've used for years. It just works. All nerfs, no buffs? Well, no, they did buff uh, Khan by reverting his ultimate. They're banning your dupes! I saw two speed hackers, Damba and Leon, in ranked a few days ago, and the match just straight up got disbanded because they had two cheaters stacking. It was crazy we couldn't do anything. That's terrible. I I've been pretty lucky, I think. I haven't ran into... Somebody. Many cheaters at all in ranked. Uh, especially not in casuals. I feel like it's very rare to see a cheater in casuals. But I know that some people have been definitely having issues. Okay, Leon's banned up first. Uh, I'm gonna ban Khan again. They're banning your dudes. And maybe also get rid of... I don't know. Did we ban Fernando? I'll leave him open. I kind of want to see what it's like ban to play against somebody. him. Problem is, I don't know what I want to play on this map. Um, yeah, I, I don't I don't really know. Ah, we can get rid of Torvald. I feel like Torvald's still scary, so. <laughs> bye bye Natazi is saying I can azon. Stream sniping, by the way. Natazi, I see you. <laughs> now, what are they going to do? Do they go for the Fernando pick? I don't know. This music's kind of a vibe, though. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes, uh, Stream Beats just hits you with an absolute banger. This is one of them. Oh, and it's gone. Well, it was good while it lasted. I'll be lagging a bit, so I gotta play tank. Ah. Uh, well, hey, Fernando's open. There you go. <laughs> Perfect. Pick something already! Alright, it took them that long to actually decide on Barrack. Interesting. Alright, do you guys want any saves? Should I just save Azan or what? Ah! <laughs> Taco Tape, my favorite cheater. Alright. <laughs> Azan. Yeah, go. yeah, you're gonna look stupid no matter what. Well, I guess Khan is on that, Fernando. Very spicy. I'm guessing Taco Tate's gonna DPS. Hey, Andrew Chicken, what's your favorite type of taco? Oh, I don't know. I love tacos. Um, I usually do soft shell, but yeah, I mean, <laughs> it, it's hard to find a taco combination I don't like. Let's just put it that way. No win counter? Oh, right. Forgot. There's our win rate from last stream, and here's our win rate for this stream. Half shell tacos. Oh yeah, half shell. <laughs> Makoa flavored taco. Wait. No, let's not do that. <laughs> Bumpkin Grok. That Grok pick is fascinating. <laughs> Loki, it seems like they're trying to create a Betty La Bomba comp. <laughs> let's destroy all the totems, barrack tur uh, turrets. Get a poppy bomb caught in the mix for that cluster bomb. Oh yeah, let's go. Ban somebody. Okay, what do we ban? I mean, they might be trying to do double support stuff here. But I don't even know which support I would ban for that. I don't know what people are doing for double support these days. Oh, Nando's for last? Okay. Yo, Ben Atlas, please. All right. They're banning your dudes. Do you think they'll do double support? Feels likely to me. Problem is, I don't know which support somebody. people are playing with double support these days, you know? Is it still like Ray, Furia type stuff? Okay, well... I don't know which one I want to ban. Hmm. Well, you know what? Koga is pretty good into Ray, so... You know what, we'll do this. 
They're banning your Might be a really bad idea, but I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Isn't Nyx still ban worthy? Oh, I don't know. I feel like there are higher priority tanks to ban than her these days. Atlas, Cohen, Torvald. Atlas more if you're in high ranked. In low elo ranked, I don't think Atlas is an issue. I could be wrong about that. I haven't been gold in a long time. <laughs> Fun fact. <laughs> uh, but yeah, also, like, Fernanda's really good. I feel like Azan's more ban worthy, especially on certain maps. Io ban, okay. I'm mad now. You made me want some food from the taco truck that's around here. Best food in town. Yeah. I had a burrito yesterday. It was amazing. I have a local Mexican restaurant. I could literally walk to it if I want. Which is impressive, considering I live in America. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty nice. I've heard Andrew... Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. <laughs> Wait a minute. Don't spread lies about me. Am I healing, by the way? Legends are spread amongst the EU servers. No, I don't play Lilith. I don't play Lilith. I guess if, if I'm healing, then... Ah, uh, I don't know. Yo, Yeet is still open, guys. Who? Wait, never mind, I have I guess I could try Corvus. I'll just, uh, I'll pocket Taco Tate and Kana, and we'll win. It's a good strategy, I think. Here in America, we are so horny for cars and highways. That's one way to put it. That's one way to put it. Car-centric infrastructure moment. Dude, it's dangerous, though. I have walked to the restaurant before. But the thing is, I live in a neighborhood. And walking in the neighborhood is fine for the most part. I mean, we don't have sidewalks, but the streets aren't busy. And there's enough space that... You know, cars can pass. It's it's whatever. But then I go out onto the... There is a sidewalk as soon as you leave the neighborhood. And that sidewalk is right along... Before, there's four lanes and then a turning lane in the center. So I guess five lanes you would call it. <laughs> of traffic. Like a main road. And I'm just walking alongside of it. And the sidewalk's very poor quality. And then that sidewalk just takes me up to this uh, little area where there's like a Mexican restaurant and a McDonald's and stuff. But it's kind of scary walking along that sidewalk, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, it's a... I guess it's... Yeah, it's a suburb. Hmm. Corvus. What really makes me sad is I've been watching a decent amount of videos about, like, infrastructure recently. And realizing that, holy crap, everywhere in America looks the same. <laughs> and that's depressing. <laughs> yeah, they did go double support, but when they went for Saris. That's really strange. And Ash as well. I mean, Ash is fine, but I will save Saris and double support. That's that's cost. interesting. That's very interesting. Ying was open. I know, but consider, we now have Kana on Lex and we have Taco Tate on Koga, and it looks like he's using a silver border. Someone pointed this out to me yesterday. The, the, the diamond border is a silver border. And the realm. It it. Honestly, the Season 1 Silver Border looks better than the Season 6 Diamond Border. <laughs> they both look silver. It's so sad. But so yeah, I can pocket them with Corvus, and it'll be wonderful, I dare say. Uh, what do we do? I have this build. And I have this build. Which, this build's probably not as good. I don't know what people run these days. I'll do this. And, uh, put a mark. And put a mark. And question mark, question mark, win. When GM was given out for free, if you have diamond, you deserve to feel like silver. Gandhi, twenty twenty four. Very well. I wish I had a uh, a, a season one silver border. That would accurately reflect my rank. I just didn't play enough rank at the time to get the border because the requirements were different. It is a a damn shame though that yeah the value of the GM border for the season is just completely depreciated. But. At least I know personally that I earned my border and I can feel proud about that. Even if other people might assume it's fake. Alright, I'm TPing over here. 
get some more heals out. Sadly, is on step, though. We're taking a lot of damage out here right now. I'll throw that on you. I'm going to TP back here. Keep the heals going out right now. Our flanks are still getting pocketed. Uh, I was on cooldown, sorry. It happens, man. Okay. Need to make a plan to touch soon. Got Kana over here. I don't think I want to be over here, though, actually. I'm going to move that over to you temporarily. I'm going to move that back to you. He's going for touch. I think I'm going to move Mark back to Fernando. Oh, he's just dead, though. Crap. I'll throw that over there. And I think I'll just keep it like that for a while. Oh, man, he died. Okay, we're really struggling right now. Kills were not happening. Ah! No. If you think American infrastructure is the same, you should be Ireland and in the UK's infrastructure. They're all red brick buildings. It's depressing. I don't know, man. I've, Let's group up, team. Let's group up. I've also driven through. Well, I haven't personally driven through. My parents drove through. I was like 13. Uh, <laughs> like the entire country, pretty much. Like, we went on one vacation road trip to the West Coast basically up to Seattle, and then we went to the East Coast to, like, Baltimore, I think it was? We stopped through so many places that looked identical. <laughs> and, yeah. Not in a good way. I mean, at least if they were pretty places, I wouldn't be so fussed about it, them being identical, but they're really not that great. Alright, I'm throwing that out. I don't know, we pressed the ult buttons. Got Grok up to spawn here. Oh boy. Uh, we're just falling apart. I'll keep healing Kana. Oh, he's just dead. No. Oh, this is a uh, really unfortunate. Let's get off Kronos. Put the marks back. I, I don't know. I, I hope I'm not doing something wrong. I, <laughs> I'm not sure if this is my fault or not, honestly. I feel like I'm trying my hardest to heal, but... The only deaths are on our side. Blank left. left. You know what? That's an idea. That's you know what? Yeah. Sure. I have no better idea, Natazi. <laughs> oh boy. Needed a damage champion? Yeah, maybe. Five, My country's three, infrastructure is all two, brutal. It's 20 plus years one. old. That's depressing. Sidewalks aren't sidewalks. It's just a parking strip. Oh no. I'm going the wrong way. You know it's fine. I can be behind the team. I'm the healer after all. Okay, let me kill Fernando. Ash is behind on the right. Okay, she's going back to her backline now. Careful, guys. I will pass judgment. Oh, for Mark on Natazi. It might be too late, though. Uh, that's my fault. I did bad. Uh oh. Oh no. Nothing I can do about that. That's a one-shot. <laughs> oh, and I was trying to heal Fernando. Wasn't working. All right, it's time to go. Goodbye. I'm leaving. Here, have this. And I'll put the mark on Koga. We capped at 97%. We just got to get back. We don't have ults for it, though. Let's keep applying the marks. Even though they're not getting much healing right now, I have the DR card, and the DR card stacks, so I'm constantly giving them extra damage reduction. Which, that's also... Pretty beneficial, I would say. Okay. I'm gonna keep kills on you right now and move the mark over, I guess. Oh, that Grok is super low. Oh, boy. Ah, uh, that's a shame. I'm dead. Yeah. This is rough. Look at those streaks. 17, 14, 15, 18. Oh, my gosh. That Grok and that BK are immortal. Corvus has a passive that decreases his cooldown when you heal marked targets. Yes, that's true. Sometimes I just need to heal three people, though. Oh, yeah, you're right. I know I know how to play Corvus at least a little bit. <laughs> I remember some things from my binge of this character on release. I got this character up to, like, level 60 as soon as he released, before it was a thing that I did where I just got every character to 50. He was one of the first characters that started that trend, you could say. But it wasn't for the gold skin. Although the gold skin is still one of my favorites. It was just because I really enjoyed the character at the time. I don't I don't really play him as much these days. 
But I still do like certain aspects about him. I like that he has high damage output. I like his teleport when it works. So. She's so low, but she's gonna kill me. Come on, Azan, you got that. There you go. <laughs> ah! Why did it take so long just to kill one Ash? Alright, I'm gonna stay up here. Because I can heal Azan, hopefully. Yo, okay, Nando, bro, let's play the game. Fernando, por favor! Join us, mi amigo. Here, take this. He really... I think he's just giving up. Let me move Mark back to you. And then move Mark back over to you. And just heal you directly. And then heal you. Like that. There we go. I'm gonna move Mark back, actually. That's my cue to leave. The power of the abyss. There you go, gotcha. Let me do that for the extra movement speed for you. There you go. Lex waffling about monarchies? Bro's a nerd. <laughs> fair, fair enough. By the way, Ash is still behind us. Just... She might try and back cap. Sounds like she's left. Yo, we defended that 4v5. Fernando, we're still in the game. Come on, buddy. We defended. We can still win. Here, I'll give you a mark. Is that better? Bro's gone. <laughs> oh, no. You have no idea the magnitude of the conflict I fight. Now, do you think yourself special? Is Khan a controller? I don't think Khan is a controller. Capture point spawning he's just, he's Khan. Forgive me. I Forgive me. Oh, well, he's a bot. You know what? At least he's going to show up and take damage now. Of course. And he Five, might press four, E. Three, That's huge. Two, huge value. One. I reckon this is the change we needed. We got this, guys. For real. We're going to do better now that he's a bot. Ultimate is ready. Enemies on the left flank. Alright. I'm here. Let's give out those heals. Nice. She still has it when she comes back, though, so we're gonna have to keep that in mind. Heal you, uncaughted. Uh-oh. Uh, I let the off-tank die. That's not good. <laughs> keep healing these guys. Come on, Kana. Okay, you know what? The bot's on the point right now. It's got a mark. I can keep the bot alive. Somehow, going back over here. Give another heal out. Huge! Wow, the bot's so good. Oh, I got Ash on me. Ah, crap. Okay, well, you know what? I'm gonna chalk that up to a Fernando diff. Bro was uh, disappointed that he got nerfed and then just left. I don't know. Well, oops. report and move on. He didn't even get a single elimination. Yikes. I got 101,000 healing. I feel like I did my part. I'm not the best Corvus, but I don't know. It is what it is, man. Let's go again. We only lost 6 TP from that. So we're still up about 11 or 9 TP right now. You did hard. I I tried. <laughs> Over the nerfs. Oh, Fernando just got a base shield nerf, but a pretty substantial one. He lost a thousand HP on the base shield. It's very noticeable. You're trying real hard not to say he's bad at the game. W Andrew you etiquette. Be in there, dudes. Yeah, I don't like flaming people. Although admittedly, it was kind of hard to notice the difference between the bot and the real player. If if we're gonna keep it a buck fifty. They're well, banning your dude. We got Waki here. I like the sound of that. Banning Koga. That's a pretty good start. You should ban their dude. Willow ban, that makes a lot of sense on this map. She's pretty good here. <clears throat> trying to make his shield talent more appetizing. They're banning your dude. Yeah, it's twofold. They're trying to make Aegis more impactful, and they're also trying to make Scorch riskier. Because 
with a 4,500 health shield like it was previously, Scorch was really safe to play and just objectively better than Aegis. Now it's a lot more even. I still prefer Scorch. Because, as you guys know, I like the extra ultimate charge, and I think the extra damage really helps you get kills, really helps you be potent. And when the enemies have Wrecker, I feel like your shield is just paper anyways. Regardless of the talent. None for me. I always just wing it. Is the majority in player base in Plat Diamond? I believe gold is the average rank. Maybe Plat? Low Plat? The majority of the player base is not in Diamond, that's for sure. Statistically, when you have a medium, like, rank, like, you have a, a scale of ranks, right? Bronze, Grandmaster, Bronze being the worst, Grandmaster being the best. Statistically, already. the middle is going to be where most players are. It's kind of like a bell curve, right? Makoa Sky, wow. Those are some cool champions. I mean, maybe not Sky, but Makoa. What a legend. It would be so fun to do this. <laughs> no! <laughs> you not liking her after the nerf walkie? I'm thinking of just doing this if y'all are alright with that. Betty? You know what? I'll yeah, be the flank. Dad, you're gonna look <laughs> stupid no matter what. Bomb King is just a flank. He, he's big flank. They're banning your dudes. It's just a nice map for him, I think. And with those characters, I feel like I can easily play Bomb you King here. Their dudes. Oh yeah, I didn't even realize Eevee was banned. That's kind of weird. Sarah's banned as well. Okay. Silver is average. Bronze is below average. No, gold is average. Silver and bronze are below average. Plat. Slightly above average. I would also They're consider it pretty average. Dudes. Diamond is above average. Master is, you know, above above average. And then Grandmaster are the best. Sky is broken, by the way. Again. I know she's been doing really good after those buffs. I think it's a, a bit strange how they buffed the healing on Smoke and Dagger. I've been calling for the invisibility to be returned for, well, ever since it got removed, quite frankly. But the extra healing feels, well, just that, extra. I don't know. A bit much, maybe. Well, I've also, personally, I've rarely faced off against Sky. I don't know how popular she is right now. Maybe I'm, <laughs> for some reason, seeing less Sky players than average. But yeah. Also, yeah, she didn't have two smokes when the Invis was removed. So it was even worse back then. I think it I think it's still good for her to have the invis back. But yeah, I don't think she needed the healing buff at all. Her best talent is back again, this time with two smokes. Yeah, that pretty much sums it up. She's good for sure. Basically like playing double support while also having a very lethal close quarters DPS on the same team. Waki is dead set on Betty. <laughs> All right. Nice to have a Berserker Mako with a Sky Pocket. Yeah. I respect the Makoa pick. Always do. He's just Makoa. Makoa's just awesome, you know? One of those characters that's just... Uh... What's the word I'm looking for? Uncontroversially good. Just base. He's a turtle. Kind of like Wint in Overwatch. You know? Just cool. Alright, we got Barrick. Nice. Now let's see what DPS they picked to round out their comp. Leon is banned, as well as Strix. Loki, I think Drogos would be kind of disgusting here if they wanted to pick him. Because the only hit skin we have are Khan, Ying, potentially Barrick. Barrick would honestly probably have a better chance if we went Tinkerin, but then that's not a hit skin. Really tall map. And Ying and Khan aren't even necessarily hard counters to Drogos either. 
But they go for Tyra instead. It looks like they're trying to become very beefy with that comp. They've got Pip heals on this map, Sky likely going Smoke and Dagger. Two tanks, and then Tyra... I mean, if she doesn't go Mercy Kill, I don't know what she's doing. So... Yeah, we're gonna have to play a bit carefully here, I think. Trade, 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 trade. Phew. That was close. Oh. I guess the good thing about having Betty here is she is good against a tanky comp. She's not a super great character right now, I wouldn't say, but if you were to play her, this would be one of the better situations, I suppose. And I trust Waki, I think. Do I trust Waki? I think I trust Waki. So... That diamond border actually looks like a silver border, dude. I can't get over that. It's not blue enough. It, if it were blue, or at least it would look better. But I think it's the combination of it being, like, really skinny and undetailed. And then also being silver. It's like, oh, wow, that's just a silver border. <laughs> You're just bad, huh? It's, oh, it's weird. Yeah, Yinga said skin. Of course she is. All right. Nitro, HP. Actually, no, I'm going to do ammo build. I definitely need more ammo here. Can actually play a bit slower because of their comp. Not gonna be doing crazy rollouts either. Unless it's to get Pip if they leave Pip alone up top. But if he's smart, I think he'll stay grouped with the team. Uh, and we'll also do. Uh, do I need to start. Rollplating? I think I will. Yeah. Smoke and Dagger, Mega Potion. Alright, cool. I'm gonna lurk. Okay, it seems like Pip is over there, so I'm gonna just go up. Ooh, bombs are a bit rusty. Oh, he was so low! No! I almost traded for that. He killed me right before I could right-click, and that right-click would have killed him. But it just didn't. Okay. Well, let me get back in the fight. And... Yeah. Trying to do some damage out here. To help make sure she dies. There we go, she doesn't get a potion in time. We did lose Barrack though. So a bit concerning. There we go, break that down. Let me throw Grumpy here. We just lost our second tank. Do not want to get hooked, so I'm gonna play back here, I think. Need to recalibrate my sticks a little bit. Yeah, I knew he was looking for that. Have to play careful there. Alright. I got touch. As does Khan. Goes behind, though. There we go. The Grumpy killed. Ah. Too much damage, though. Alright. I don't think my play at the start worked out, and then we were too staggered to actually hold them. So, yeah. I'm just not going to do rollouts this time. It's one of those matches we just can't really get away with it. Which is what I suspected, but I just wanted to confirm. Alright. Grumpy Bumpy. Alright. Die! Oh, that's bad. Oh, no! Okay, I got her. <laughs> that potion was huge. Early game Mega Potion, man. Don't even need to worry about cauterizing, it's still a full heal. Alright, I'll get Grumpy there. He wants a hook. Alright, he's backing up, good. Alright, here is a Grumpy. Up and over. Oh, I hit Sky a little bit. Ah! Alright, don't get it by that. Grumpy. <laughs> he keeps dying to Grumpy Bomb. I thought he was going to ult that time, but he didn't. Yikes. There we go, gotcha. Oh, he killed me, though. Fair enough. I'll take the trade with Sky. I think that's worthwhile. Uh, Max out nimble. There we go. Next name with the Makoa on the team makes me curious what's going on in the spawn room. What's happening? Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> yeah, that's a bit. <laughs> a bit curious, one might say. 
Oh boy. They really are flanking together, huh? Oh, I can take out Sky. I gotta go, though. Whew. 30 seconds remaining. Need to beam up. Ooh, Ying's not looking at me. Alright. Might be worth it to invest in life for this game. Just a little bit, because I'm going to be doing a lot of damage anyways this match. 15 seconds remaining. I don't know where that sky went. We should be careful. She might come back here. You know Makoa's over here. Good. Okay. Here's Grumpy. Hello. Oh, once again, I'm just a little bit too late to kill him. Okay, yeah, this is, that's just not worth it. Just not worth it. <laughs> uh. That's not a PNCL player? Who? Oh, Nyx? I don't know who's a PNCL player or not. Half the time I see that title, they're trash, so I don't know. Ooh, crazy ult. Are you saying we dive the backline together? Mm. I like the sound of that. I love feeding with multiple people. Capture point spawning in I'm gonna go around left seconds. side. That's the only place I can pop you over safely. Nah, that's a backup oh, plan. Well, we take, we roll no, out. No, no, we can take the easy option and just stand Nine, and kill someone. Four, three, that's cringe, though. It's more fun to roll out. Alright, I'm going left. I'm going left. I'm flying. Okay. I'm going in. Oh, I got stuck. <laughs> I'm bad! So bad! I'm so bad! Okay, I'm getting out of here. Ah. Okay. You know, we got a stun on Nyx. That's huge. She dies. I don't know why they're dying to Grumpy Bomb so much in this match. It works out in the end. That's what matters. That was a very embarrassing rollout, though. I accidentally just went a little bit too far to the right, and I didn't adjust in time, because I was just kind of going on autopilot for that rollout. Because normally it just works, I don't have to think about it too hard, you know? Oh, he hit that! Get me out of here, I'll throw Grumpy down, I'm dead though. Yeah. Okay. Some PNCL accounts are just bot accounts that don't always be scared. They sell their accounts already? Wasn't the PNCL like... When was the PNCL, like a year ago? Oh, if I hit that bomb, maybe Waki would have lived. My BK is definitely on the rougher side this match. Oh, that's just mean. Alright. Grumpy Bumpy. Alright, I got heals. This guy is somewhere. You should be very alert. For when she attacks. Ooh. Alright. Uh, I could maybe try and go up there. You know what, let's do it. Let's make up for my terrible rollout just a moment ago. Boom. There we go. Double kill. That was super risky, but Ying saw what I was doing. I appreciate that very much. He's one, but he's gonna get a potion, I think. Alright, Grumpy. No one's in that corner. He's gonna try and hook. Yep. Poppied out of that. Connor, you got people coming behind you, Makoa Sky. Oh, I blew up Sky trying to stick Makoa. Classic. Or maybe she died of the Grumpy. I've had like three people bite of the Grumpy this match for some reason. Just directly to the damage, I mean. Alright. She got potioned. You're gonna take that 1v1. Foolish mistake. What are you doing? That was a terrible poppy. Oops. Alright, goodbye. Ah. Kind of was like running away from me. <laughs> You just grumpy. Oh, okay. That's bad.
Yeah, we just need to reset. I think next time we should shoot the Connors. I, I was trying to, but you took him away from me. Like, I was going around the right into the room, because that's where I thought you were no, going, and then you just went out the other side. Yeah, my initial plan was to get him off point, but I think Sky was contesting. Here you go, have a grumpy. Ow! Okay. Alright. I'm gonna pop you my way out of that room, do some more damage. This guy is here. Ooh, and Makoa. Alright. Back up a little bit. Go up top, watch hook. I keep shooting at Makoa and killing Sky. Ah! This <laughs> guy is like riding Makoa. They're that close together. Ugh. Alright, there we go. Oh, we push, and I get to save my ult. That's lovely. It's also extremely easy to unlock titles illegitimately. Is that still a bug? That people are able to exploit? That's a shame. What is PNCL accounts? Those are accounts that participated in the PNCL tournament. Kind of like the PPL, but way less prestigious. A lot, a lot less prestigious, actually. <laughs> Kind of like the Walmart brand of uh, PPL. Or PPC. This guy's gonna have a lot of damage? Oh, of course, yeah. Yeah, I'm glad they fixed it, but it's back to being broken. Yeah, I mean, technically it's harder to hit, but it's more consistent, so I'll take it. Yeah. Okay, certainly this will work this time, right? There we go. No! <laughs> Goodbye. Worth it. Huge value. <laughs> I got their pip. They still have a second healer, but that healer's dead. There we go. Great. Now we just clobber them. And Khan's going to be able to build his ult back, hopefully, by the time they respawn. Yeah, there okay. you go. Good. Boing. I'm ready for it. Coming over here. You are outmatched. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, I stole that. Kind of. Technically, a little bit, weirdly. There we go. Nice finish by Kana. Or Grumpy here. Get a little bit of life steal. Makoa's one. I need to heal, though. I'm gonna pop back here for Ying. Let her right click me. There we go. And that should be GG. Yep, they don't touch. Alright, perfect. Good stuff. Well, that was a pretty good game. They had a risky comp. Kind of, a little bit. Not really, actually. But it didn't pay off for them, so that's what matters. <laughs> and uh, we got 14 kills here as BK. I died the most on the team by a decent margin, but, I mean, it comes with the territory of uh, being the rollout king. If you ignore the terrible rollout that I had, that <laughs> honestly should dethrone me of my title of rollout king. But, uh, yeah, we got another 15 TP there. Let's go again. We are pretty close to ranking up again, which is great. Hopefully we'll skip tiers this time. I didn't skip ranks the last time. But considering it's taken me a while to actually rank up through Diamond 3 as well, I probably won't skip. It'll be a very slow grind to Masters. They're banning your dudes. Can you tell I focused the Nyx? Yeah, you were brutal with those ults. Jagfalls, here we go. <laughs> we got Segs with Makoa. Magoa, 69. Yo! Let's go! <laughs> uh, Khan is not fair, and Khan is banned. So, yeah, there you go. I'll ban Thorvald. Thorvald. Don't know what else I'll ban. It is a good Fernando map. But, again, I just want to see what it's somebody. like to play against Fernando, so I might leave it open. Oh, they banned BK, they know what's up. Oh, no. <laughs> Uh, in that case, I don't really know. So how about we ban Ying? Yeah, that's a great plan. It's I know what I'm doing. Already. Wow, they insta-lock Willow. Okay. You do you. And Khan is immediately on Androxus. That's exactly what I thought was going to happen. Now what do I want? 
They took away my Bomb King. That's so sad. I could do Fernando again. Save Atlas. I don't know if I trust this person on Atlas, I'm not gonna lie. I think I'll just play Tyra. Tyra. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna look stupid no Get some DPS what. going. When are we supposed to use Jolt? As a level 5 card? I usually only use that card if I want to troll. If I want to just goof off in casuals and knock people off the map. I don't think it's a serious play style, personally. But if you want to use Jolt's level 1 filler to make your Poppy Bomb more consistent... Somebody. Specifically right now when using Chain Reaction or Accelerant because it's bugged with Royal Subjects. Then you absolutely can. But I prefer not to do that. Just because it's not my cup of tea. It's really up to your personal choice whether you like it or not. Okay, they went for Ash Fernando. I'm definitely getting Wrecker. And uh, we don't have to ban any tanks now, so we could ban more supports, or maybe a flank. I'm gonna ban Zin, because Zin's annoying. Banning your dudes. That's the only reason. <laughs> I don't feel like facing off against Zin as Tyra. I think I'd rather Get face off somebody. against Vatu, unironically. Okay, Terminus gone. Fair enough. Uh, Thunking... We could get rid of Sky. That would be funny. I think I'm more scared of Koga, though. And plus, Tyra counters Sky in the sense of the reveal, so I'm gonna get rid of Koga. Banning your dudes. Gotta be smart about our flank bans here. Tyra not Shaw? I thought you were better at Shaw. Well, I play Tyra, too. <laughs> I play multiple characters, I'll have you know. Besides, I feel like... The last few times I played Shaw and Ranked, it didn't work out. Because of all the tankiness that people are able to achieve these days. And Tyra's a tank buster, and I can also become a tank myself. I feel like it is a decent pick here, but maybe I'll be proven wrong. Maybe we'll get clobbered. Alright, Nick's gone. Rover, Furia, Io are still on the table for support, so we do have a lot of options. And we do have that Atlas, they're trying to trade. And our third pick went screw over. Sounds good. Alright, let's see what healer and flank they get. Sky is still on the table. I'm not worried about it, though, especially not after the last match. What would I be worried about realistically? I mean, maybe Lex? I don't know. They probably shouldn't. Yeah, they would not. They would not do Buck here. Eevee, maybe? I don't care about Eevee, though. I mean, <laughs> I am the Eevee main. I know exactly how to counter Eevee. Okay, they do go for Lax. That's a bit annoying. Nothing impossible to defeat, though. Lax has been nerfed multiple times. Barrack. Alright. Well, uh... I think I like this, ultimately. Like seeing Khan on Androxus. That should be good. I hope. So... Yeah, I'll just get some Wrecker. We'll, uh, we'll stomp here. Maybe. Possibly. Maybe. 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 Possibly. Potentially. Hmm. Gunslinger, please? Is that the, uh, Westerner skin? Bandit. <laughs> Red is Gunslinger. I'm gonna do Bandit. I prefer that version. How is the best EV player? FRZ God or Ladji? I think he meant to say who, and I couldn't tell you. I don't know how either of them play Eevee. All I know is Uber Spadey's the goat. So. Alright. Uh, yeah, let's do Mercy Kill. I'm gonna be tanky. I'm just gonna be so gosh darn tanky that Lex can't stop me. And you know what? If he goes Death Hastens, that'll be great. Oh man. He's going Discovery. Okay. We'll have to try a bit harder to be tankier then. I'm going to grab... At the start here, probably some... Prepare for battle. Yeah, we'll start with Wrecker and then we'll build into Armor Plating Veteran. Just like that. And I think priority number one is just getting Wrecker up to level two. Especially because they're oh. going Aegis. And then after that, I do need to build for some extra tankiness to complement the build. Because what's the point of Three, playing Mercy Kill Tyra if two, you're not going to build for tank one. items? I mean, that's just silly. <laughs> That's darn tootin' silly right there. Okie doke. Fire bomb! Okay, they're not really over there that much. 
I guess I'll get a reveal on you. I'm playing a bit slower on the left here, though. I guess I could transition to doing some damage here on point. I'll throw a firebomb there. Grenade out there, get to the DR, get the damage. Alright, get a reveal on Lex. Lex half on, right? Ooh, good kill on Ayo there. Hello behind. Going to point. Ah, oh, she got me. Ooh, I don't think they have her. Wait, I killed her. But they got Grover, though. Barrack's gonna die now. Ah, uh, that sucks. Okay. We had some good picks, but we weren't able to really control the point that well. I hope Barrack can stay alive over there for now. I'll get fire on the point just to scare them a little bit, get a reveal out, just throw damage. Ash is on the right behind. Is she chasing me or what? I don't know. It's worth getting back in here. Dude, damage. Oh no! He countered my damage button! Now Ash is here, I'll throw fire. That's all I can do. They're really low. They're really low. Oh no. Okay. As long as we can protect Grover, that's good. Get Racker 2. There we go. I'm coming back. Hold down the fort. And yes, we got it. Alright, good. <laughs> Alright, fire. Reveal. Grenade. I'm pressing buttons, guys. Look at that. Pretty cool, huh? Oh, I missed that. Yikes. Yikes. A lot of damage. Hold on. Okay. Firebomb there. Got Willow revealed. I'm sizzling now. Okay, good. Fernando's dead. I'll throw a firebomb there. Oof. She's building a blast flower on me. I need to be careful. There we go. I'll kill you. Grenade misses, but he's dead. I'll just throw a random firebomb up there. Hello, Fernando. I feel like I'm not really doing much for the team right now, except, like, kind of helping to set up kills. Like, I'm not finishing anyone off. That's okay, though. That's sometimes just what Tyra does. You know, it does big damage numbers. And everyone else finishes. Everyone else does have more bursts than me, you know? Andro burst, Atlas burst, Grover burst. Or Firebomb just right there on point. I'm gonna get a reveal on her. But it doesn't even matter, they don't touch. Okay. Burn, Fernando! Ladgy, 101v1 versus Uber, 9 kills versus 3 on YouTube. That's neat. Alright, now that I finally have Racker, I think I'll actually pivot into Nimble. Just real quick for a little bit of quality of life on Tyra. And then go for veteran armor plating. Yeah. Strategy. Hopefully we can just keep on keeping on. And it's really good that Willow Wilt is down too, because that's actually pretty big ult. Fernando Wilt's going to be back though. Ash Wilt's going to be back. That's pretty huge immortality. So I need to be careful with when I press the damage button. Okay. Eric's just going to point. I'll follow Atlas. Alright, they're going around here. I'll get a reveal out. <laughs> Look at all that damage. Luna's dead. Missed the grenade. Okay. Oh, Willow's just dead. Nice. That's okay. We got her. That would have been really cool if that grenade hit. <laughs> oh well. Oh, hi! I'll throw fire there. I think she's going in the room, though. Oh, she got rebound. That's huge. Get the reveal. Grenade. That one finishes. We are just demolishing these guys right now. Firebomb. No, I can't kill Luna. So sad. I need to back out. Oh no, Fernando. Or Atlas. Yeah, it's time to go. Ooh, good. 
You can just stay alive up there, that'd be awesome. I am not hitting grenades today. <laughs> it's a very good thing that the DR card procs whether you hit the grenade or not. Otherwise, I wouldn't really be getting that much value. Feel. Okay, I don't know why he dropped. Firebomb there. You know, I'm pressing the damage button. Stay in spawn! Nice. And Atlas Ults gives the victory. Alright, GG's. Very mundane game, honestly. That was kind of boring. I expected better. Mark it up. Three wins. So how did I do? Five kills. Okay, I confirmed a few more than I thought. I didn't even get top damage, though. Kind of just carried. Jeez. <laughs> and he's being accused of being a cheater. Oh. <laughs> Darn it, Khan. I guess I have to report you. Oh, I'm Grandmaster now. <laughs> wow, we ranked up, got 16 TP, and now I'm definitely a real, uh, very real, legitimate Grandmaster. And this is totally not a ranked bug that's been in the, been in the game for as long as I can remember. <laughs> now nah, we're Masters now, we're Masters. Masters 1 TP. We officially made it. Heck yeah. <laughs> Man, that kind of sucks, though. That's my rank up game? That was so boring. <laughs> what happened to the fun rank up games? Man. I kind of miss the days where I ranked up to Masters with Moji. That was kind of funny. Anyways, let's keep it going. Keep on going. Because we're not here just to get Master, we're here to get Grandmaster. But really, we're here for the Fernando skin. I don't care whether I hit Grandmaster or not. I want Fernando. You would have lost if Atlas didn't there? No, we wouldn't have lost. We would have just not won as quickly. But it was a very good Atlas ult. That is how you're supposed to use it. I'm glad to be Masters now. That means I can update uh, <laughs> the, the picture on my ranked thumbnails from Diamond to Masters. I can make it look even cooler. Whoa. And now I'm guaranteed to get a Masters border for this season. They're banning your dudes! And uh, considering how they did it for Season 6, I'll probably get a Grandmaster border just for being 1 TP into Masters. Damn yeah! Man. Let's go! Woo! How much TP from Grandmaster? I don't actually know. I haven't checked. I can look for you after this match if you remind me. Torf ban. Uh. Con ban. They're yeah. Banning your dudes. I don't want to speak my plans in case someone's stream sniping on the enemy team, but I have a plan. I just want you to know that. Play Mave? Quit playing Eevee? Heck no. Ban somebody! Va'u. Alright. Uh, I'll ban Willow. What the heck, why not? Seems like a very good idea. Now it's the moment of truth. Do I get to enact my plan, or will I be pummeled by said plan? Hmm. Is that 10 minute queue I just got for ranked match normal? Yeah, that happens sometimes. If you're playing on off hours or you're at one of the two extremes, whether you're, you know, Grandmaster or Bronze. Although I feel like Bronze still gets decently fast queues. But uh, yeah, you can also get longer queues if you're at sort of that higher echelon of gameplay. Pick something already. Fernando, okay, well. Bomb yeah, King. yeah, you're gonna look That was my plan. No <laughs> We're playing Bomb King again. Cause it's Stone Keep and funny Bomb King go boom. And I finally get to play against Fernando in Ranked and see how that feels. So that's going to be nice. For a second time, actually, because they had Fernando last match, too. He kind of just fell over last match, if we're being perfectly frank. Reaper wants Nyx, Grover treatment, saying I can Grover or Betty or Troll and go Shell Spin Koga. Yo. <laughs> Base Shell Spin Koa. Yo. I want to see Grover treatment play Grover. That sounds fun. Rom's in combo again. It's the same people we played against match one of today, correct? Alright. 
Well, I'm glad I'm playing Bomb King because Bomb King is uh, pretty good against Rom, last I checked. Zane is just always annoying, though, but as long as we can get him while his counter is down, he should be easy to kill, I hope. Come on, play Eevee. <laughs> I, listen, I keep getting good Bomb King maps. I'm just playing Bomb King, okay? Leave me alone. <laughs> I'm the Bomb King guy. I could play Eevee. I could. Maybe. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll take Drogo's. Ooh, that's risky with one DPS option open. But... They already have their tanks and Zane locked in, so that's at least three characters you know aren't going to be a counter to Drogos. But also, Fernando Wolt is a counter to Drogos, so... I guess we'll see how it is. Uh, since we have Grover, we'll ban Ying. They're banning your dudes! Uh, is it more... Is it a better idea to ban Aya or Furia? On this map. Because I'm thinking about the beams going through walls. I'm thinking about that Makoa match where a Solar Blasting Furia absolutely carried... Yeah, I'll ban Furia. <laughs> They're banning your dudes. What do you call Split Stone a Bomb King map? Yeah, I'd say so. Can do some fun rollouts there. You got some nice hallways where you can spam bombs. Not the best. There are better maps like Serpent Beach, but it's still good. She got you into Grandmaster? I know. The thing about Eevee is, she's just so sweaty. And I love that. But at the same time, I don't know. It's ranked. It's already hard enough. It's like, Eevee and ranked is like ultra hard mode. Which I can do, I can handle, but... I'm lazy and so I play BK instead. <laughs> no, I didn't get Grandmasters on Moji, because the only time I've been Grandmasters was last season. And that was the Eevee match. But I got into Masters after my chat goaded me into playing Moji. So, that that's what happened. <laughs> More like glue master. <laughs> what flavor of glue stick do you like eating? I like Elmer's glue. <laughs> Welps, that's an Androxus main on their team. Most likely, almost certainly. It's enemy number one in ranked. I mean, I would assume nothing less. And they have pip heals. That's very intriguing, considering they don't necessarily have a second support. Apart from Subservience Rom, maybe. But, I mean, that's not as good as, like, Pip plus Sky. And we also beat Pip plus Sky. So, I don't know. Don't worry, but that Andro pick is going to be good versus Kana. So we're going to have to, I think, prioritize dealing with Andro when we can. And then we can take out Zin and Rom later. I'm going my ammo build. I would love to play Chain Reaction versus Rom. But they have Pip, and the number one rule of Chain Reaction is that you never play it versus Pip. Because if Pip goes combo medic, like I assume he's going to, he's actively in incentivized to shoot his teammates with explosives, thus destroying all of your bombs. So, we can't afford to do that here. Very sad. Okay, uh, let me do... What do I want? I think I want a point of armor plating and a point of life rip. Just to start here. Five, oh, he's going Mega four. Potion. Still, I'm not going to play Chain versus him. One. It's just a bad idea. It's party time. And let's go up to the right. We got Drogos. We got Nyx. Nara's going to point, though. And I'm super slow. That was like an ultra-legendary, hyper-dangerous slow right there. Oh, man, they're just faster than me. Well, they have Nimble? They do. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, Andrew went behind and just got our Grover. Grover's peek in the window, sadly, so Andrew was able to easily take him out. Nyx is dead. We need to group up. We got 51% cap, though. Hey, let's go. Lost the team fight, but got the progress. Thanks, Inara. Oh, boy. There was someone up top left. Ooh, direct stick. Let's go. There's Zin. I keep hearing that Androxus, but not seeing him. Super strange. Hello. Oh my gosh. Ah, they're just dogpiling me in this room. Okay. Well, that's a bad start to the match, I think. 
And Droxus just kind of pummeled us. And that Zen and Rom are sticking to each other like Elmer's glue. <laughs> so. Yeah, no ults. I'm surprised. Okay, let me try and come up here. Yeah, I knew he was going for that. Wow, my sticky bomb got stuck on air. Did you see that? I don't know where he's going. I guess he's dead. I can kill Zen. Dang, that health bar on that shield feels oddly low. Just looking at it while I'm destroying it. That's crazy. Look at that. Man, that feels weird. <laughs> ah. Oh boy. Ah, he got me. Okay. Dang, that Androxus absolutely popped off. And wait, I didn't get an assist for that, even though I'd suck him once. What? I just got scammed. Paladins is actively trying to make my KDA look worse than it is. I hate you, Paladins. Why? <laughs> Why would you do this to me? Okay, there are a lot of them over here. Oh, I got stuck. I wasn't able to go about that. I think it's time for us to consider resetting, maybe? Get Fernando there. Oh, it's so hard to hit Andro when he's up there like that. Good cripple. Dead. I did nine damage. Popping off. Okay, Zin's top left. Ah. Uh, that's a bad idea. Andro's over there, too. I got him, though. Jeez, he's just hitting more shots than me. Andro's kind of scary anymore when we're playing. Nyx is gonna die. She was up too far. Oh, and Andro got a Mega Potion. Please, Drogos. Alright, I'll get Grumpy there. Dang. Wow, that's a lot of damage. This Andro is just all over me, man. Oh, I'm not knocking him off the map. Who am I kidding? I got him, though. Oh, the one shot that hits goes into reverse. So big sad. No! Oh, he's so low. I'm just not able to kill him, though. Oh, boy. What was that? I'm getting stuck on everything right now. I'm just dead. I keep getting stuck. Okay. I don't think we have this. We were able to get kills off that Inara ult because I died. We do get two, though. Wait, hold on. It's not over yet. Mm, he's so low. Killed with the poppy damage. Dead. He shot me through the payload, but I'm dead. But we defend anyways. Yay. Tough match. Very tough match. I'll buy a little bit more life rip for sustain. This Andro is clobbering us, though. We need to do a better job of dealing with him. It's tough, though, because he does have a lot of uh, distractions, you know? He's got Rom, Andro, or uh, Rom's in, just in our faces. And I wouldn't say Rom and Zin are doing the bulk of, like, the killing. But that fact is making it a lot easier for Andrew to breathe. They're making the space, you know? Five, and yeah, Pip's three, working out pretty well, too. Two, one. He's kind of slower on the right again. So I'm going to not go in the hallway. Instead, I'm going to pop around here. Yeah, there we go. No slow. Okay. Come on. Nice. Oh, he's too far away. And he billowed. And I'm a chicken? Hello? What was that? Okay. That was a whole series of unfortunate events. Holy crap. Oh, and that, re that reversal blocked the combustible, so he wasn't able to kill him. Even though he was ridiculously low. Uh -huh. 
little bit of damage on Andro. I think he dropped. Yeah, there he is. Not gonna be able to hit him while he's dashing. Rom is just harassing Grover. Need a lot of damage to kill him. Please, he's so low. No, he actually lives that. Oh my god. Oops, okay. That was weird. Ah, oh, he healed himself. And that hit Rom! Oh, oh. There we go, I got him. Here, take this damage. Okay. I'm backing up. Ah, uh, I hate the slow. <laughs> Loki thinking of buying Sentinel, but I should probably just buy Nimble instead. That would help out a lot. Ah! Oh man, this Andro. Jeez. Okay, let's buy some Nimble. That's slow. This is dangerous. More than half of the noobs on emulators and rollers wouldn't be able to eat a single thing if they took away their toys. Do you mean the Emesis? Take away that? It'd be a lot harder, yeah. Okay. Bro just ulted out of spawn. <laughs> nice. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. Just wasting poppies and to die. Andro is dominating us. That was definitely a good pick here. Good for Spike and Drogos. And they have the space from their off tanks. It's really kind of bad that we picked two point tanks here, I think. Your king is in danger. A little bit of damage. No one's gonna resist me for long. Oh Guess I'll die! I can't even kill Andro, he's still in the range! Oh man. That was a good Fernando ult, that completely ruined my chances of defending here. Brovolt's trying to keep us in the game here, but as soon as that's down, he's gonna die. We'll be very close to it anyways. Yeah, he's dead. Thanks for that knockback. Got him. Need some lifesteal right now. Ah, oh, Blossom, Blossom, Blossom. Oh, let's go. We got a Blossom. Alright, huge. Kill you. Okay, we defend. Jeez, that was close. <sighs> Zim on controller? Zim on consoles? Common in Overwatch? What is Zim? I've heard of it. I don't actually know what it is. I thought it was like getting aim assist on the mouse, somehow, but is that right? Third party software, plug in keyboard and mouse and you get better aim but also aim assist? Oh, so it is aim assist on mouse, okay, that's what I thought. Yeah, that's stupid. Capture point spawning in 15 seconds. Alright. Well, we have a few ults. Hey, we do know Fernando ult is down, so... Five. Just saying. Two, one. Yeah, I'm gonna ult Fernando. Um, watch out for that flank. And by the way, the Androx is just controller. He's my flank. Okay. That's slow. Where is he? Okay, well, there, we know where Zen is. Fernando's down. Oh, there's Androxes. Ow! Ow! Stop! Oh boy, I'm getting thrashed. Oh, Andrew behind me. Jeez, I just have three people back there. Coming from every angle. Your king is in danger! At least we're staying alive a little bit better this time, I think. Hit that behind the reversal. I can't hit him back there, though. He's just so agile. DK's bombs are too slow, you know? That's the fundamental problem I'm having versus Andro, really. Wow, he's aggro. He's in our spawn. God, he is so fast. How is he so fast? Dark Stalker, he's got to be running the speed guard, right? Yeah, speed guard, dash distance guard. Oh, 
Mm, we just cannot capture her. At all. Still over here. I think Rum ran away, though. Yeah. Enemy rampage. He's so low. Nice. Oh, it's like he knew I was going to pop you that way. Oh, no, I got stuck on the wall. I keep getting stuck on every single wall. What is this? Stone keep hitboxes. Ah. Oh, alright. Alright, alright. You know what? Counter roll. Whoa! I just got bursted. Headshot defiance. Jeez. That felt like the fine fist, but it's just a headshot. What should my final item be? Veteran, I think. This so squishy. There, veteran too. Ow! Please! Okay, he's dashing. Up there! Is this guy legit? Because... He does not miss a shot. At all. That was crazy. We are barely defending right now. Here's Grumpy. Oh, he's back. Stop. Oh my god, I'm just getting so ulted. Ah! The one time I actually get a fight Zin fairly, he just ults me. There's nothing I can do about that. That's GG. We do have Grover ult, but Drogo's is dead. Can Dro Grover even make it out there? He's trying. Getting knocked into spawn. Yeah, that's GG. Yeah, that Andro just hard carried. I'm not entirely sure he was legit. Because he did not miss a shot. And I couldn't hit him because he was just so fast in the air. 10 kills. I died 15 times, though. I died as much as Nyx and Nara. I really wish we had an off tank, man, because we had no space compared to them. Rom was actually giving them a lot of space because he was playing aggressively alongside Zen. And yeah, Andrew got 28 kills. I don't know. I'm going to report him just to be safe. That did not seem legit to me. Let's go again. <clears throat> Am I out of Masters now? <laughs> I lost 12 TP, holy crap, wow. My first mass match into Masters, now we lost double the amount of TP. We do have that threshold, thankfully, though. Jeez. <clears throat> Zero TP. I think if I lose the next game, I'm falling back out of Masters. Uh. <clears throat> That's what Roller Andro looks like? But how can you play Andro on Roller, though? Because... You have to, like, rebind the drift, and how do you do flick shots on roller? Andro is easy on roller? Really? That's not what I think of when I think of a roller character. Gyro? Can you... I guess you could flick with gyro. Huh. Somebody. Yeah, that was ridiculous. <laughs> not really a fair fight. All right, Warder's Gate this time. Um, you know what? <laughs> They're banning your dude. Out of here. No Andro. Ban somebody. Torvald. All right, we'll get rid of Khan. They're banning your dudes. First pick or ban Fernando, please. Make sure. Already. I'll go back to playing yeah, Fernando. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna look stupid no matter what. Willow pick. Okay. Well, we can just. Counterplay that. Oh yeah, I got up to the win counter, right? Uh, three wins, two losses. Boom. Let me look at the YouTube video. It's me on Andro. Which YouTube video? I don't know, man. It's It's just such a bad thing these days when it's like... It's really hard to tell between who's controller and who's actually cheating. Like, you go 28-5 and five on Andrew in a ranked match. Never miss a shot. 
Is that aim assist or is that a hacker? I mean, it's rough out here, man. <laughs> it's rough. I mean, it really just, I think, indicates that we need another aim assist nerf, personally. Drogos? Yeah, they're both are DPS are not good against Drogos. Nah, Drogos would be good here. None of their DPS can counter him. And we have Fernando, so your ult's free. Yeah, I, ju I just, I just know they're gonna, they're gonna fuck me. Shit out of here anyway. Hands. Okay. If you think Andrew's bad, just wait till you see Ro Roller Tyro or Koga. Oh yeah, He's I know. probably gonna be uh, Koga's like, the, same, like the scariest same character game on as, uh, controller. The one in Stone Keep, right? They're like the same players. Dudes. Crossplay rank doing wonders? Truly a, not a terrible change that they still refuse to address. I mean, fundamentally, I'm okay with it. It's just, aim assist is too strong. So, you know, that's fundamentally the issue we have here. If it weren't too strong, it would be a much more fair environment for everybody. And yeah, it helps with the matchmaking, too, and having actual semi-reasonable cues. As opposed to keeping everybody separate, because ranked is already... A really tiny fraction of the player base. Gerardito Chiolito is trans. And if they were uh, separated into two queues like, even further, it just, you know, it, it really, it, it hurts the queue times a lot and the matchmaking. Don't seven shame? I will seven shame. That's my job. I am the president of his hate club. What am I doing, by the way? Uh, both teams have DPS and a tank. They banned Azan. I'll ban Atlas. I think I need to be dudes. banning hit skins. If they go triple DPS, that'd be kind of weird. I don't think they're going to do that. So I think Atlas is just the best thing to get out of the way for Drogos. And then... I think we're good. I mean, maybe like a Slugshot Ash would also be pretty good. Yeah, I'll just do that, what the heck. What stream settings do you use? Because your stream looks crazy good. Well, I'm using a 4090, so that enables my stream to be uh, pretty good. Because <laughs> I'm able to use very good encoding settings. So you might not be able to use those settings if you don't have as good hardware. But my output is 6000 bitrate, which is you know standard for Switch. But my encoder preset is set to the slowest for best quality. And I also record separately, uh, and that is set to an even higher quality. And that's what I upload to the VODs channel. So that's why my stream highlights and my VODs channel VODs look even better than Twitch. Whoa! Oh my god, I was distracted, I didn't see that. No, why are we doing that? <laughs> no off tank? It's gonna be stone keep all over again. No off tank, we lose. Okay. Mm -hmm. I guess I'm just going to have to be the best Fernando player in the entire uh, west of the Atlantic here. Because... <laughs> uh, I need to make all the space. I need to make two tanks worth of space as one tank. Or they just dodge. You know what? That works. <laughs> that works for me. Yay. <sighs> it's difficult to nerf Amasis, because if you nerf it a little bit, only the top roller players will still feel the same, but if you nerf it a lot, the low mid elo players will be screwed. I know, it's a tough balance, but I think it's still a little bit too strong right now. If we're literally still not able to distinguish between a good controller player and a cheater. So. Okie dokie. Uh, Jag Falls, we are first pick again. So I guess I'll do more of the same. They're banning your dudes! I got a 3060, but my stream sucks with 8,000 bitrate. Well, Twitch Get limits you to 6k bitrate. And, yeah, the actual encoding preset you choose, separate from your bitrate, plays a major factor into how good your stream looks. So you could try doing, like, some local recordings with your stream encoder settings and playing around with that to see what looks the best while still letting you stream at a reasonable, uh... They're banning your yeah, a, a reasonable frame rate where you're, like, not dropping frames, your gameplay isn't affected, that type of stuff. I think there be, shouldn't be emesis in competitive play. If you want to compete, then play on the competitive platform rather than getting handouts. 
see that that would basically just ban all controller players from ranked though like i i do think there is a place for aim assist it just shouldn't be so prevalent that at the top level is basically all the good dps are controlling already. right or god forbid it's even worse you know compared to like i don't know it seemed like isn't an apex like pretty much all the top players are controller or something like that yeah, it shouldn't be like that stupid, either no what. Because, yeah, it's much harder to aim with your thumbs, and in a game like Paladins, where there's a lot of mobility, they do need aim assist for that. How are you going to track Eevee with that aim assist? <laughs> and then they'd have to nerf Eevee, and that's no good. So... Mine is a purist take. It would have negative, negative practical outcomes, unless it was this way from the start, like Overwatch and Valorant. Yeah, like, there's no way we could go back to that idea. Or shoot, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe they can find a way to differentiate it so that if you play on PC with a controller, you have weak aim assist or something like that. Which, from what I've heard about the way it works, is that probably wouldn't be feasible, but, I mean, that would be nice. Because I know it's really mostly just the PC players that are the problem. Like I've always said, it's not Timmy on his Xbox. <laughs> That's not the issue. Yeah, that's risky. They still have Andro open. And one free pick. Really? Nene, he's gonna play Andro. That's... Like, for sure. Yeah, unless Kana wants to play Andro, I don't know. Okay, well, there you go. Now you can play Drogos. Yeah, I just don't... Uh... You can wait if you want to save. Yeah, I want to... Uh, yeah, I want to save to someone, but... Get me mm -hmm. Do you have a better option than Genos? Yeah, you play anything else than Genos? Play off tank? You play... <laughs> you might be a gen an amazing Genos, but Genos isn't amazing. That's kind of the issue. Yeah, yeah. That's the point, <laughs> yeah. Whatever, I'll leave it up to you, Elizabeth. Uh... Let's try it. Fuck it. Yeah. Oh, Leon is still open. Mm. Yes. Ban Genos. Oh, uh, that I feel like that would be extra mean. <clears throat> Surely they can play Grover. You'd be surprised how many people can't actually play Grover that well. He does require some semblance of skill. Even though mechanically his Blossom, you know, <laughs> technically requires no skill to just press the button and heal, right? It's about positioning, it's about cooldown usage. It does require skill. <sighs> Alright, Maldamba banned, interesting. Uh, all right, we're definitely banning Leon. Banning I need to focus on banning hit skins. Ban so we'll ban Leon. Atlas is already banned. That's good. Uh, what's another hit skin we could ban? That would be problematic for Drogos. Or a flank. No, I don't think I need to ban a flank necessarily. Unless I could ban Koga. I'll ban Koga. Don't have a lot of time to make those decisions, so... Just going with it. I haven't felt too much of a difference when I have 200 frames versus when I have 175. Well, that's a very small... If you're saying just 200? I mean, I guess you said 200 plus. NTBs, I think, was the creator who did a very good video demonstrating the difference between 60 FPS versus, you know, 144 versus... I don't remember what the next step was, but then versus just straight uncapped. And it's... It's it's very apparent. Yeah, your FPS has a correlation to how strong your aim assist is. Even if it's not directly programmed that way, that's still the end result. When I uncap FPS, it's inconsistent, but also at around 200. Yeah, you're not going to notice that much of a difference between 175 and 200. But I can get up to 300 easily, and I could probably go higher. I just have it set to 300. 
And there's a stark difference between 300 and 144. Very apparent. Melt in my presence. Alright, well I like Ash pick on Jack Falls here. It's nice that we have an off tank this time. And they've got Chad Makoa, and they have not a single hit scan to counter Drogos. Assuming Barrett goes Tinkering. Because, I mean, Ying... <laughs> Maybe she'll go Focusing Lens, and then she'll throw the game just to try and swat Drogos out of the sky, but I don't think she will. This is a hard so this game. is like the freest it Drogos like game. If we don't game, win this, I blame me. Drogos. <laughs> or maybe Genos, honestly. I might blame Genos, I don't know. Or maybe I'll blame myself. Maybe I should take personal responsibility for my losses for once. <laughs> nah. <laughs> that's, that's, that's for losers. That's for people who aren't streamers with massive egos. Am I right? <laughs> yeah. Anyways. <clears throat> Let's get some nimble. Uh, Exaction Cassie, Yomi, yep, that's Tinkerin. Based Pluck. And yeah, Life Exchange. So. I'm feeling confident here. I'm on Fernando. We got Tana on Androx's free Drogos here. We got the Ash off tank, Slugshot. Got the Luminary. I'm liking this. I'm liking this. Five, four, three, so yeah, I'm going to go right. One, try and block the hook, or I should be the one to get hooked Ooh, and not my good. DPS. I'll try and... Just make him use that on me. Okay. Ooh. She's really low, but I'm not going to be able to kill her. Block some of that damage. Fireball. Hook down. Ooh. Alright. Good. I missed that flick. But that was a good void grip. Alright. I'm going to let Genos on point. Ooh, Jorobos is dead. Ew. Fireball! Oh, that was nice. I was gonna have hook back. Watch out, Ash. Ooh. Oh, he got the healer. Okay. I thought Genos was on point. <laughs> My bad. Okay. It's time to fall back. We'll let them have a little bit of space here. Actually, Barrack is one. Hold on. Huge. Oh, poor Kana. Fireball! I'm not ulting that. There's no one there for it. Like, even if I ulted there, he wouldn't get points, so... Yeah, they just barely clinched this one. It's what it is. It's unfortunate. Dennis was just really out of position on the zoning. I have no idea why, but that lost us the point, I would say. I don't know why Kana was capping. Like, why did Genos force him to do that? Oh, the fireballs are so huge. Pillow's on point. Oh, he's going left looking for Oak. Watch out. Oh, boy. Jeez. Oh, I just barely missed that. I'm too far up. Jeez. Okay. I'm trying to make some semblance of space here. There's a fireball. Good. <laughs> Idiot turtle. <laughs> he jumped off the map, thought I wasn't going to tell that he's trying to hook me. Like, I just wouldn't put my shield up or something. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, so silly. Okay, I hear Cassie on the right. Unlucky fireball. Alright, there she is. Just wait it out. Oop, someone's on point. Oh, good job, Turgos. Alright. Uh, it, I saw you're pressing your mic there, but I, I didn't hear you. If you said anything. Yeah, I think it's just my mic flagging. Oh, I see, I see. I'm gonna go in this hallway. There it is. What is bro doing? Barrick, are you trying to 1v1 me? I'm Fernando, I'll have you know. You don't win that. What are you doing? <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> These guys are silly. How did we lose that point? <laughs> Playing like this? Seconds remaining. Okay. Uh, fireball. Get some damage there. I haven't needed to use my ult, so like... I'm playing like I need to build ult charge, but I don't really. I'm just farming credits, I guess. Thank you. 15 seconds remaining. 
I'm gonna make sure we're watching the right. Makoa's on right, coming to point. Ten, nine, eight, He's in our spawn. Okay, oh hello. Missed that ball. Missed that charge! What am I doing? Oh boy. Let us all crash. So she can get her ult and then use that after my ult's down. Like that. There you go. Cassie's in spawn. Fireball, dead. Get back to the point. Fireball, hit the ying. I have no shield. This is bad. We don't get kills. Man, we actually lost that. They're like, they're trolling, but they're also crushing us at the same time. It's really confusing. <sighs> okay. Well, I am going to... I guess... I don't know what I need, man. They are buying Wrecker. A little bit, anyways. Zin's going for max armor plating. I think I'll buy morale boost, actually, because I need my ult back. Alright, this time on the zoning, we need Genos to cap and not go off on his own. And hopefully that'll do a bit better. We need to keep Genos alive. Alright, let's go. Probably because of the Genos heals. I mean, he's trying. Who did not get the ult? Where did that Makoa go? Oh, he went to the point. Okay. Uh, I'll push them back. Do some damage. Oh, Genos is dead. Okay, great. Oh, we just need to fall back. Ash is gonna die. Yeah. Okay, this is the opposite of what we needed to do as a team, collectively. Don't know why we're playing like this, but... Need to get close for touch soon. Build up ultimate charge where I can. Alright. I got the touch. I don't like the sound of that. There's precisely zero I can do about it. Alright, I got the ult. I'm just stalling. But I'm gonna die as soon as this goes down. They have Ying ult. Yeah, it's over. Man! This is the freest Rogos game. And they're being silly, and we're still getting 0 3 right now. I don't understand what's going on. I don't understand why we're... why this is happening. Right, fireball. Try to do some more damage. Fireball. Alright, dead. Cassie's behind. Oh my gosh, she got the Drogos. Okay, she's dead. I think me and Kana need to work together. Fireball. Ooh, fireball. Koa's behind. Going for Drogos. We're seeding so much free space by looking at him right now. Oh my gosh. Okay, got her. I need healing. <laughs> okay, we're healed. Bro, Ash just got clobbered by Zane. I thought she was going to ult him there or something, but she didn't. Try and push these guys back. Alright, Makoa's gone. Fireball. Ah, uh, that fireball wasn't able to do anything. That fireball didn't hit either. Okay. Ash is ulting. Oh, that's good. Fireball. There. Dead. Alright. Dude, that was late. It's hard to tell when Ash's ult expired. Uh, this is just over. We're not... <laughs> this is like the freest Drogo's game, and yet... We're just... We're not killing anything. Drogo's ult didn't even work. It hit an illusion. Ash is gonna die on point. That's a 4-0 stomp. In what otherwise should have been a free game. I can't believe that. How did we lose? Uh, let's take a look at the stats. Let's see how how we did. Uh, two kills, 
Four and ten Drogos with not a single hit scan to be found. That is rough, dude. 50k less healing from Genos as well. I don't think Genos was even really that big a problem. Uh, okay, I haven't deranked. We still have a bit of a buffer. But wow. I got top damage on the team at least. Based Fernando. <laughs> yeah. Ah. <sighs> Maybe I'll go back to playing Bomb King, except the next time I do that, we're probably going to run into another sweaty controller and Droxus player again. That's a shame. What are you going to do about it? <clears throat> Told you to ban Genos. Yeah, I really should. Although we banned everything. We did a perfect draft for Drogos, and he did pretty much nothing, so... <clears throat> if you get Master Rank, then D Rank to Gold. Wow, that'd be an impressive lose streak to get to Gold somehow. After hitting Masters. But uh, yeah, yeah. if you hit Masters once, you'll get the Masters frame. It, it only tracks what your highest rank was. So if your highest rank during the season was Masters, that's the border you get. So I will get the Masters border for Season 7 now. Even though we went to Masters and are probably immediately going to derank now because we just lost two games in a row. And if we lose the third game in a row, we're going to lose 30 TP and go back down to Diamond 1. And that would suck. What talent was Drogo's? I think he was Combust. No, he was Fusilod. Hmm. Man. It's a shame. I wish I could have played Drogo's there. Literally not a single hit scan to be found. Well, let's see what we can do this match. Maybe we should try and get the Torvald pick. Ooh, yeah, we are first pick. Maybe we'll try and get Torvald and then just pocket Kana with that. <laughs> that sounds like a plan. So, how about we ban Khan? They're banning your dudes! And go from there. What do you think about the Season 6 Dance Master and Grandmaster frame? I think they look nice, but they're definitely not as robust as, you know, Season 1 or Season 2. And the Grandmaster frame is the wrong color, so it also looks like a Master frame. It's really weird. Andro banned. They might be trying to go for Drogos. Uh, I don't know what I want to get rid of, personally. I guess I'll get rid of Fernando. They're sure. banning your dudes! See if they leave Torvald open. Pick something already. Eevee ban, okay. Weird. Well, I'm gonna lock Torvald. Yeah, yeah, I want to see how he's feeling no after what. the nerfs. Master looks better? They look. They both look pretty decent, I think. The one that's very frustrating is the diamond frame looks like a silver frame. And I still don't get why they decided, oh, let's make the season number the loading indicator instead of the giant crystal at the top of the frame, even though the crystal by default is supposed to be the loading indicator. Makes no sense. Anyways. Ooh, Koga? But to the bottom pick, though? Hmm. I don't know. The border is just small, instead of the usually large GM frame. Yeah. I think that's the biggest gripe, because it does look nice. It's just... Yeah, it's kind of skinny. Bruh. <laughs> I'm just playing Torvald, man. I don't know what they want to do. Seven? Okay. Can't believe it's been five years and the ranked borders have yet to beat the Season 1 and Season 2 borders. Yeah, it's kind of crazy how they've only gotten worse pretty much every single year. Although I still prefer these ranked borders to Season uh, 5's ranked borders. Those are, like, some of the most forgettable borders in the game. Season 4 was a bit better, but... They're banning your yeah, to me, Season 4 and Season 5 are just like a blur. <laughs> I, just, I, don't, I struggle to remember them. I remember Season 3, they're iconic for being the weird ones. Season 1, Season 2, legendary. And then yeah, I know what Season 6 looks like because they just came out. I don't know uh, why they stopped putting the number on either. I'm glad they put the number back on for Season 6. I wish they would retroactively go back and add the number to the Season 3, 4, and 5 borders. It helps to distinguish them better as a ranked frame, and not just a regular battle pass frame. Especially because some of them do look like Battle Pass frames, without the number. It's very hard to tell Pick that they're somebody. Grandmaster. 
Season 1 and Season 2 definitely have a clear identity as Grandmaster, Masters, Diamond, etc. Leon Band. They're just trying to get rid of all the stuff that is good against Willow, I guess. What do I want to get rid of? They have a support. We, I guess, should get rid of an off tank. So how about we get rid of a Zahn? They're banning your dudes! And possibly Atlas. Go for the dynamic duo of a legendary tanks. Ban somebody! Octavia gone. Oh yeah, they're just going for hit scans, man. <laughs> okay. We need frames that the people in the community made. I've seen some really good community made frames. I would definitely be happy if those got added. Tyra pick. Double backline DPS. Wow. Interesting. Sarah's. Well, you know what? Our guy gets to play Koga. <laughs> double flank versus double DPS. Who wins? Well, by golly, I hope it's the flanks because I'm on the team with the flanks. Ah. Uh. Hovering between Damba and Saris. I feel like Damba's a bit better on this map. Corvus? Yeah, Corvus would be good too. Corvus would be good for double pocket, but if you can't play it, then don't worry about it. Up to you. <laughs> Anything but Damba. You don't like Damba, Connor? He just doesn't win. Yeah, it's sad but true. Most fun support in the game, and yet also one of the worst supports in the game. Samba's easy. Ah, <laughs> yes. I like doing damage more than the off tank with Damba. Dude, same. Same. <laughs> Once I get deft hands, I just turn into damage Damba. Can't help it. Alright, Ying heals Ash off tank. Yeah, Ash is probably one of the best choices they could pick here. <clears throat> People build him wrong, thinking that DR is the way to go for cards. I mean, the DR card is pretty good. Focus resetting your abilities? Ah, the yeah, DR card is pretty good. Right right oh, I think the DR card's pretty good. Yeah, the DR card's pretty good, man. Just extra it's HP. Kind of, it's, it's kind of the only thing he's got. You build for reset, but also DR. Like, it's both good. I usually use the uh, the Gord Clone card, because Gord is just so helpful. Allies. I'm also going to play Direct Current here, because I don't see much of a point in going Thanks Grandpa now that it doesn't have the cooldown reset. It's, yeah, it, it's practically a loadout card, man. Yeah, I agree. Also, it's weird. Uh, my, I guess my mic was on there, but it wasn't showing my mic on on the left for a good second there. But yeah, that extra nullify range should come in handy. I'll still buy Kronos and just throw the bubbles on. I'm upset that they removed the Corvus indicators on the top left. He's using the health card. I like seeing he was morphs. Yeah, it's a shame that they removed that. That bubble looks tiny. Like, you're playing seven, you barely have health, and that only gives two bars to you. Four, three, <laughs> two, one! It's, it's, it's still gonna have like hard effects and stuff, but. Yeah. And it's still gonna take an extra he, shot he, away from he's the He's not enemies. a pocket tank anymore. I'm fine with that. I always like playing an aggro grandpa. I kind of broke my nullify. Oh, and I guess I'm just back up here, aren't I? Alright, well. Guess I'll recharge again. Just keep the off tank at bay here. Nullify that. Ash is really low. Right side. Pocket. Can you use teleport? There we go. Nice. Here, I have a shield, Barrack. <laughs> yeah. Now I'll nullify Anara just so she doesn't put up a wall. Use that direct current range. Yes. Uh, let's be smart on zone. They're gonna get touched, so just come off point last second and laser away the Grayson. Just kinda wanna play him back here so I can hold them off on the right, and I can easily bubble either of the flanks if need be. There you go, Koga. Willow's up top mid. She fluttered. Pyro's coming to point from middle. You are welcome here. 
nullify again. There we go. Unlucky, but... Uh, there we go, gotcha. Mm, right, good. Nullify. There we go. I'm taking a lot of damage here. Alright, good. And gone. Alright, perfect. We got it. I would love to have just blasted her off the map right there, but she's Mother's Grace, so... <laughs> That's a no-go. No illusions. Stop that. I could totally just blast Tyra off the map, too, if I get the angle. Don't need to, though. She's just dead. Okay. Oh. Blast, blast, blast. Oh, you know what? Well, at least I got Ash. Did I? Wait, did she live? Oh. Okay, I guess she lived. <laughs> well then. Uh, dead. We're still just crushing them, though. Double pocket meta just goes so hard. No, you're not allowed to use that. Stop it. <laughs> I have nullify. Silly. Uh, shield for you. And... Yeah, I think that's just a push. Okay, well, there we go. Yeah, that's kind of just what I thought. Torvald is still really strong. His pockets, yeah, they're not as good anymore. Look at how small that is. But he's still got some of the best damage in the tank class, really good self-sustain, and Nullify is so disgustingly overpowered. As it should be, quite frankly, because it keeps flanks and other characters in check. It's well, it's, it's a part of the checks and balances that keeps things balanced. Isn't as big as you might think. Just because against really small shields, Rekka has no effect. So if you were to kill the shield in one shot anyway, Rekka has actually zero effect on it at all. Yeah. The damage you I remember the testing that a while back. It's mostly yeah. just for his personal Three, bubble. Two, which, one. I'd say it's still worth it, because that's still like... But, well, now I have Guardian, so it's almost 6,000 health they have to destroy, plus recharge, right? Yeah, I agree. Throw shield back there. Both tanks stacking up here, and Nara's trying to make space. But, okay, Nara's DR and wall is down right now. If you want to just burn her, she's in the back. Ah, she killed me. <laughs> Didn't have damage back there. Thought we actually had people helping with that, but I guess it was just me. I'm glad Koga ended up getting right. the kill, though. If he can stay alive, that would be excellent. Oh yeah, just beam him back up, Corvus. There's a bubble for ya. For those around the right. Not that it matters. We're just winning. There we go. Alright, let's give a shield, I guess. Stop it! Ash is really low. Oh no. Good. Gotcha. Oh, sorry, Barak. I tried to save you. Uh, the fire. Inara has no abilities in the backline again. Yeah, there's Koga. Oh, I couldn't get Nullify. Try and stand in front of him. Just body block. There we go. Good. Okay, recharge. Willow's low. I'm gonna pop left to try and get her. There she is. I don't know why I keep giving shields to Barrack. That's kind of silly. You know what? Ash, no shoulder bash on me. There we go. Cut her down. The nullify is just so good, man. <laughs> it's just so good. Direct Current was already a really competitive talent even before the Thanks Grandpa nerf, but now that Thanks Grandpa has been nerfed, I think Direct Current is his best talent. That double range on nullify enables you to be so impactful in terms of getting kills. Even when they buy Unbound, you can still interrupt abilities like that. Huge value. I don't have ult to blast them off point, but I think that's okay, because we just kill them. Yeah, GG's. Torvald in Master's level ranked. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's still ban worthy. <laughs> Yeesh. How much TP do we get off that? I lost 12 TP from a loss earlier. So, and I'm only gaining 8. Wow, it's actually going to make it hard for me to grind to Grandmasters. We're going to really have to try then. Crazy. Five kills, one death, 43,000 damage. Pocketed Kana. Kana didn't even die. Zero deaths. Had Corvus and Torvald on him. Yep. 
That was truly one of the matches of all time. Let's go again. I can't believe that. I have not had a negative TP ratio in a while, but now we have it. Winning 8, losing 12. Really going to have to do well on the win rate now, but as you guys know, I usually get a 50% win rate, so... Hmm. Also, what happened to our queue? We cancelled it. Oh, I guess Khan is leaving. Okay. I'll do a bit of solo queue action then. That's fine by me. Just abuse Torvald. I guess I can try that, yeah. Uh, I guess, like, I'm kind of fighting against the game now to be Grandmaster, though. Which is weird, because I don't think I had to do that last time. I think last time I was still getting... I think I was breaking even. I don't think I had a negative ratio, but now I have a negative ratio. So, I don't really even know what I can do to change that. Kind of feels like the game just does what it wants with my TP. So. Yeah. <laughs> I had the same question, too. Is it worth getting back in the game? Absolutely. Game has been doing pretty good this past year. They've done a lot of, I would say, really good changes in terms of balance, in terms of slowing down champion releases so we don't have over bloat. Which I already think the game is bloated in terms of its champion roster, but they pretty much have stopped releasing champions. So I think that actually helps them for figuring out how to properly balance this game and actually address older characters that need some love. Like Willow. They just made Willow awesome. So if you enjoy Willow, Play the game now. Right now. It's the best Willow's ever been. So, um, yeah, have fun with that. But, uh, yeah, I, I, I'm having fun with the game. Much better than it was in 2022, I would say. Are ranked qualifying matches based on how your team does or how you do individually? It's a bit of both in the sense that your individual performance does have some effect on how much TP you gain. Very slight. But also if you win or lose a match, that determines how much TP you gain. Because regardless of how well you do, if you lose TP, uh, if you lose a game, then you lose TP. And if you win a game, you win TP. So, and because it's a team-based game, if your team throws a match, then you lose TP. That's just kind of how it is. Which is unfortunate to an extent, but I mean, I don't really know a better way you could do that system. I was so frustrated with the number of champions they were releasing two to three years ago, so that's really good to hear. Yeah. Like, the community was just getting more and more fatigued with the bloat. And last year, they only released two champions as a result. They released Nyx, which is a new tank, and that's good because we hadn't had a tank in a while. And then they released Omen, and Omen's a bit of a failure. They released him, he was buggy on release, and then he was absurdly overpowered for a little bit, and now he's the worst damage champion in the game. So, he's tumultuous. He's also oh, ugly. Man. Look at this. Red Crayola Crayon. Purple Crayola Crayon. Goofy Head. Yellow Crayola Crayon slash Nacho Cheese looking dude. <laughs> and he's also kind of a weird Genos ripoff. So, yeah. Both are a fail? No, I would say Nyx was a pretty well-executed champion. She was also buggy on release. Nyx. But she's decently viable and... She's fun, and I like some of her gimmicks. Also, the opposite of Omen. She looks very nice. <laughs> yeah. By now we should have gotten a new champ, though? Uh, well, let's see. This time last year we had Nyx. Uh, so yeah, I guess, maybe. We did get a new champion, though. We got the horse, right? Yeah? Yeah? I think they should add one more support, round us off at 60, and then just stop. Just be done. No more champions. Or at least not do a champion for a very oh, long time. Oh, that Kenji Hi. What's up, Hi. dude? We're first pick dude. again, which it's means always a surprise. we can do Torvald again. It's like, oh. That's cool. New champ for the summer? We'll see what they do. I wrote to you once saying I was your biggest fan and you never answered. Beat somebody! Uh, Leon. Uh, you're chicken for real? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll just do these two They're tank bands. 
try and snipe Torvald. We'll see if we get lucky. I think they're banning meta too because yeah, they banned Leon. Nice. Do you want to say something? Or are you are you gonna go uh, something you're used to? I'm trying to get Torvald right now. We'll see if they let him through. <laughs> they're taking their time. Get something already. Ah. Uh, <laughs> you should have said that. <laughs> you shouldn't have said that. I mean, it's just what people are banning. Got him last match, though. Anyways, uh, I could save something if you wanted. Like, Grover, Ying, something. Or tank. I could go Ying. Alright. Or I could go in Arachu. I think Ying is higher priority. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna look stupid mm -hmm. no matter what. BK, 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 petition BK. First it was people wanting Eevee, now it's people wanting BK. It's bizarre, I don't think I want to do BK here. So yes. I don't know what I want to do here, actually. I'll have to see what their team comp looks like. Very nice breathing, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> He's still going at it. All right. <laughs> oh boy, Moji. Yo, we do Moji up here in ranked. That's a genius plan. What could possibly go wrong with that? Atlas. Who else are they gonna go? They're really taking their sweet old time. Do I want to know what's going on in Fire Tiny Biscuits? Dog is a room? Howling. Horny. Crazy. <laughs> oh my. Imani! Wow. Well, I'm definitely not playing Eevee versus that comp. That is not going to be a fun experience. Uh. Yeah, Tyra's fine. Okay. Get my Nara step there. Maybe All I can right. play a tank. I guess we're just letting the bottom pick save for me. So. I like Tara here. Uh, They're banning your dudes! Androxus, hmm. God damn, what the know. fuck am I supposed to play now? I don't know. I was saving you for Biscuit, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Ban somebody! Vatu ban. We could just ban supports for them. I think I like the sound of that. Get rid of Grover. Actually, get rid of Ray. It's this map. They're banning your dudes. <clears throat> ban somebody. Eevee ban. What? You're banning Eevee when you have three counters to Eevee on your team. Wow, that's very smart. <laughs> okay. Grover ban. Moji is still a good pick. I'm not playing Moji versus Androxus. Moji just loses that. Super, super Let's hard. Tank. I could. Mm. could go Koa here. Koa, oh, I'm done for that shit. It's fucking mm -hmm. <laughs> You're gonna cripple them, and then I'm gonna cripple them. I mean, I could do Zen. Could do Zen. Oh, you, you def should go on. Yeah, but it is. Oh, but it's flat, sir. Yeah, but Atlas. And the game is canceled. Can they dodge? Oh, they dodge. Oh. Oh, oh, boy. Rest in peace. <laughs> Good job. Man. See you later, buddy. Well, back to the queue we go. Hooray. I have to wonder why they dodged that. Because they had a good comp. I don't know, man. Maybe it was someone who was just selfish and wanted to play DPS. Was angry that multiple DPS got locked already. I don't know. Maybe they don't trust Imani. I think that's a bit silly, though. Imani's pretty good if you know how to play her. Ah, let's hope the... Let's hope it finds us a match decently quickly. Uh. Oh, boy. The tragedy of playing ranked. You spend so long queuing, then you spend so long drafting, just for someone to end and, like, just dodge. Right when you're towards the end of the draft and so you've just wasted 10 whole minutes of your life 
for absolutely nothing. Why? I don't know. The person got up to pee and forgot that they were playing ranked and then just didn't come back in time, or they got salty and left. Maybe it was because I banned Ray and they're a Ray main. I have no idea. But, yeah. Either way, ruined the whole game for us. Yeah, and we had a, we had a funny team too. Uh, so sad. <laughs> yeah, maybe I'll get sober teammates this time. <laughs> uh, it would have been more fun if we just got to play on that team, though. I was looking forward to it. I was looking forward to the Makawa plays, you know? <sighs> what are you going to do about it, man? And yeah, officially past the 10-minute mark now. It's actually struggling to find us another player. We already had the nine other players necessary. We lost one, so we have eight players. Is it really that hard to find one more player? <laughs> Come on. Come on. Do you think the draft takes too long? I mean, yes, but also no. I mean, yeah, it takes a long time, but to some extent that extra time is also necessary. Because people will waste bonus time, people will... They do need to have time to deliberate. You shouldn't be speedrunning it. I mean, maybe they could make the ban phase shorter or something. I don't really know. But yeah, I, it just... It just sucks when... Yeah, someone dodges right at the end of the draft. Because you spend all that time, you're ready to play the game, you got your champion locked in, and then boom, no more game. Man, it is really struggling to find us some more players. Why? You know what, let's do our daily Steam Charts check. We haven't checked yet today. Steam Charts. Paladins. We got almost 6,000 players online right now. It looks like the hotfix actually brought back a decent number of players. We had 6k peaks every day except today. And we were previously at less than 5k peaks, and then back up to 5k on Sunday, Saturday. Hmm. Which, <laughs> that's kind of funny, because it's just a hotfix, but... Alright, I, I guess that's content. Sad to see the slow decline again, though. I mean, we got some players back here in January and February, but not nearly as much as we did. You know, previous January, February. And then these past 30 days have been rough. I mean, we hit a new low on Steam Charts. Previous low was December 2022, and we hit a new low. That's no good. Don't like that at all. What do you think about an additional ban slot, but the game auto-bans a champion at random? Controversial? Random bans... I mean, I don't think we should be introducing RNG into a game like this. Any more than RNG is already a factor in terms of just what teammates you get. Because it's meant to be a skill-based draft. If you throw a random element in there, I just don't think that's good. And that person won't get banned from comp for dodging. Yeah, absolutely. The the punishments for leaving ranked games is... It's not serious enough. Like that Fernando who left earlier and lost us the game. He should be punished for that. Not banned from, like, paladins, but, you know... Banned from ranks for, like, a day or something. Like, you really should be punished if you leave a ranked game more seriously than you are right now. Because people can feel free to just dodge whenever they want. And that's not good. Not good at all. Okay, we're first pick again. Yay! Bancon! Our average is at an all-time low? Yeah, the average and the peak are both at an all-time low. Well, actually, the peak might... What's, what's the peak at an all-time low? Let me double-check. Uh, yeah, the peak's at an all-time low, too. Just completely fell off. We lost 2,000 peak players from March 2024 and the past 30 days. That's not good. That, that's not good, man. And again, I struggle to understand why, because I feel like the game is in a good spot right now, ultimately. There, are, there will always be problems, but there's no, like... Defining core issue for the game right now. Somebody. I feel. You know. Yeah, it's a bit buggy. People crash. There's cheaters in ranked. There always has been. But there's no big, like, 
unifying really bad thing. Like the sound bug. You know, you guys remember the sound bug. They're banning your dudes. There's nothing like that going on right now. Fix something already. And the balance is a little better. <laughs> I mean, the balance is never going to be perfect either, but I much prefer the meta right now than when, like, Curse Revolver was meta. So, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, more ads would always be good. Ben years, excuse my rust. Ah, uh, don't worry about it. If you have any questions about what's good right now, feel free to ask. Mm-mm. <clears throat> Koga! Oh no. Makoa! Oh no. <laughs> hmm. Well, I got the Tour of Auld on lockdown here, so I'm ready to pocket whoever wants to be pocketed. And if we could get a Corvus, that would also be pretty cool. But that's entirely up to the team. What happened to Kana? Oh, Kana just left. Probably had to get off. Crossplay unranked. They quit because of aim assist or cheaters. Can't really find the difference. That's it. Yeah, that's like the single biggest issue is like ranked is cringe. But ranked has always been cringe, so that's not even a unique issue. Like ranked has always sucked. <laughs> so. Oh boy, and we got Grok. Well, that's not quite the Corvus I was looking for, but... Uh... You know what? I'm willing to work with it. I have faith. I believe in Grok. It's not like it'll be the worst thing that happened to us today. Oh, except they picked Willow. Okay, well, um... Grok's gonna have to be very careful not to put all the totems in the same spot, or else we will not get healed this game. I don't think Ranked always sucked. No, Ranked has always sucked. Because there will always be toxic players in Ranked. That's due to the very nature of it being a super sweaty competitive mode. And there have always been bots in this game. And that affects ranked more than casuals because it's more serious in ranked. And that's never... There's never been a time in history where that hasn't been an issue. Being and somebody. cheaters have always been a thing in Paladins. And they're more prominent in ranked because that's where people want to cheat and ruin people's games. So, yeah. Like, <laughs> I, I think it's always sucked. And yeah, crossplay wasn't always a thing. That's like an added thing on top of it, but still... Would you rather have crossplay or would you rather have 20 minute queues? I think I'd rather have crossplay personally. We need to ban a support for them. So how about we ban Rover? They're banning your dudes. Ban somebody. IO ban. Why are they banning? Okay. They're banning supports, but they're not banning the right supports for double supports. So they're kind of just shooting themselves in the foot because they don't have a healer. Which that's okay with me. I'm actually going to ban Corvus here. No Corvus for that Koga. Erlemeyer would rather have the 20 minute queue. Yeah, I just, I don't want to have to wait that long to get into a game, personally. I was annoying to play against? Yeah, but I don't think she's good in double support, because she's too healing focused. For double support, you really need utility and damage. And that's why double support usually revolves around characters like Rock, Pip, Ray, Furia, because they do damage and they do utility. Ooh, Ruckus. Very spicy. All right, well, we need a main tank. Well, we need a main tank. Most of them are pretty good right now, depending on what you're comfortable with. You know, whether it be Barrack, Inara, Nyx, Terminus, whoever. I mean, I, I probably wouldn't play Terminus here. Also, is that Grok a... Uh... Oh, please don't play Genos. Yeah, we need a, we need a tank. Whoever you're more comfortable on. If you do go Barrack, though, they will have more Wrecker value, but up to you. Okay. Phew. <laughs> we almost had a catastrophe there. Can you imagine triple support with Genos, Ceres, and then a Torvald solo tank, and Zinn is our only flank? Ah! I still don't really like this, but at least it's a little better. Ugh. Gross. 20 minute queues because it sets a difference from casuals. That shouldn't be what differentiates ranked from casuals, are you kidding me? <laughs> Everyone would just play casuals then, because what's the point? Waiting 20 minutes. I know you think Spirit's Domain is bad, but is it worth it against Willow? No. 
Because you still lose out on damage, and you you just you need to be smart with your totem placement. And with the Totemic Ward, I think the totems are actually a little bit larger than the dead zone. So if you just place them a little bit spread out, she can dead zone some of them, but she can't dead zone all of them. And Totemic provides good speed coverage, good heal right coverage. It allows you to do damage the entire time instead of just shooting your teammates. Quite frankly, it's just better. It's it's just better. Spirit's Domain is fun. Play it in casuals if you want, but in ranked, it's Totemic, or it's Maelstrom if you're playing damage. That's it. <sighs> it's not the player's fault for the game having a very small player base. That's true. But still, I'd rather not have a 20-minute queue. You're off your trouble you think I'd miss a banger like We're gonna do this. direct current again. Same build. And we are going to also Yeah, just do the same chrono start like that. So we got Soul Collector Sarah. She's buying Trigger Scent. Veil vale level three. Double movement speed, okay. <laughs> and Grok is Totemic. Alright, so that's good. We will at least have one support dedicated to actually supporting. Uh, Ruckus is going for Flux. We definitely need Wrecker, and Zin is getting some of that. I might pick up a little bit of that later, but a point of Kronos goes a long way on Torvald. Last Flower, Half Shell, yeah. Definitely going to need some Wrecker here. They're going Double Shield Talent. Five, four, three, Brock's going two, Horde. Hopefully he'll get some Wrecker as well a little bit later on. Maybe Saris as well. I mean, yeah, we just need Wrecker. <laughs> Lots of Wrecker. Go! Alright, he hooked me. That's okay. I have recharge. Nullify. Dead. There we go. Good. We believe this Willow? Good. Genos is on the back right. Ooh, Ruckus actually got a kill. Okay. I'll nullify so we can't put the shield up. Dead. Nice and crispy. Uh, I would love to give Sarah's a shield. There you go. Recharge again. Good thing that hook got blocked. Shield. Briefly. Alright, we cap. We made the space. Good. Glad the Saris is playing aggressively. <laughs> That's good with Soul Collector. Rather have that than a passive Saris on the team. Any day of the week. Here's a shield for you. I'll have to break down their shield. Ooh, a lot of fire out there, though. Keep giving those shields out where I can. I want to start to move in a little bit. Nullify. There we go. Killed him. Start to do some more damage. I'm very surprised that Ruckus is playing Flux. I'm going to nullify him here. And no aerial assault. I don't think he's going to be as effective of an off tank. Because once you get Wrecker, he's doomed. They're not going to have that much space for Koga to breathe. Especially with that Genos. I guess he wants the extra sustain because they have a Genos. Maybe that's the thought process? I didn't realize they had a Geno solo healer, but that's very bad for them. Ooh, nice. And then I'll nullify. There we go. Got the kill. Oh, I should have shielded Grok. That's my mistake. Got recharge. Ooh, I might die. Ah. Thank you. Nullified him. Crap. <laughs> oh. Thank you for the totems, man. Uh, got Willow back there, dead, and we push. Beautiful. Do you test two talents in one match in Atlas game mode? No, I haven't done that. Is that a thing? Let's get Kronos 2. And I will also... Oh, okay. I think my itemization this match will be Nimble, Rejuvenate, Wrecker. But it's which one do I want first? I think I'll... Since it's early game, I think I'll prioritize Wrecker first. In late game, I'll need Rejuve and Nimble more for survivability. But I want to help deal with those shields where I can. Yo, the goat. Thank you for the Prime sub. I appreciate that. Very nice. Rockus is a new player. Count level 50. Four, what? Three, two, I'm Masters. One. What do you mean? What is this guy doing here then? Well, I guess I can't blame him for playing Flux Generator. He's in the totally wrong lobby. <laughs> ah. All right, there's a shield. Hook down. Yes! Alright, I'll nullify. 
Shoot him before he ults. Good. Get that ruckus. Poor guy. Willow's trying to retreat. There we go. Good. Okay. Let me push up then. I'm gonna hold right. Because Saris is on the left, Sin's on the left. I wanna make sure they don't push around here. Which I think we've been pretty successful at. Yep, there we go, we cap. Good. Quick shield for ya. Alright. Ooh, hello. That didn't do damage to me. I thought I would have been hit by that, but I guess not. Nullify, stun, oh, brutalize. Poor guy. Poor turtle. Okay, there we go. Give a shield to you. Huge. Dead. It's kind of sad now that I know we're bullying a literal new player. I thought ranked was supposed to have better matchmaking than this. I guess this is what happens when you have an 11, 12 minute long queue or whatever it was. Oh. Oh, this is so sad. For <laughs> you. Oh, man. Well, my ultimate is ready, so... Uh, there we go. Make sure they don't touch. A level 50, level 87, and a gold player found their way into a master lobby. And I thought they said, this patch, that they changed matchmaking to make it so that gold players don't get into a lobby like that. What the heck? Ah. <sighs> Wait, Report Ruckus cheats? What do you mean cheats? He did 12,000 damage, my guy. <laughs> what? I'm not reporting anybody there. That was a matchmaking issue. Why? I'm so confused. Uh, let's just move on. We got 11 TP. Oh, I'm building back my TP deficit. Wait, this is good. This is good. Maybe I can still hit Grandmaster. <laughs> and let me also check for the people who were asking. I forgot to check earlier. So if we go to the Grandmaster leaderboard... Oh, look at that! I'm Grandmaster, guys! I'm so good! Change my icon. Uh, Alright, so the minimum threshold is top 100 in Grandmaster. And also 100 TP. So the TP threshold, I just have to... Get... Okay, I think if I get about 60 TP, we'll comfortably be in Grandmaster. Although, actually, I think I need a minimum of 100 TP, right? So these guys aren't technically Grandmaster then. So I guess, yeah, I just need to get to 100 TP. And then I'll be Grandmaster. Which means, right now, there are only 46 Grandmasters in the world right now. Uh, actually, some people are tied. So, slightly more than 46 Grandmasters. We'll say round up to about 50 Grandmasters in the world right now. Dang. That's small. <laughs> Yeesh. You want more TP from bad matchmaking than good matchmaking? Yeah, so this last match, where we played against... I th I, was the matchmaking slightly better than this match? You guys can tell me. I assume you looked up the ranks. I assume the ranks were higher in this match. So for beating these guys who were a higher rank, I got 8 TP. For beating these guys who were literally pretty much fresh installs, at least th uh, two of them, right? We got 11 TP. Uh, okay. Although I think the reason that worked like that is because I think it's trying to build me back up to not winning so little TP. So uh, I don't know. I don't know how this game works. <laughs> I was that Genos. Apparently the Ruckus was a cheater. That's why the top pick banned Rom and Lax. I don't know. Well, for a cheater, he was pretty bad. Because his positioning was awful, and he only did 12,000 damage, which... I mean... I get that he played a tank and not a DPS, but if you're cheating with Ruckus, I think he can do a lot more than that. I don't know, man. <clears throat> to me... I'm just talking that matchup to bad matchmaking because the Ruckus was account level 50. I think they said it was Makoa who was account level 87. There was a gold player in the lobby, and I'm a Masters player. So, that was just horrible matchmaking any way you cut it. I lost mine account with Atlas Maxed. Lee! <laughs> and not only him. Wait, it's like a level 999 Atlas? Did they say why you were banned? I wish I could help, but I am not Paladin Supports. If you want help with that, you should make a support ticket on their website. 
I was that gold? Oof. Yeah. I, I thought they said in the last patch notes, right? Not the hotfix, but the patch before that. That they changed matchmaking so that there's a tighter gap between, like, you know, what's allowed in terms of gold players being in diamond lobbies and stuff like that. Well, I guess not. <laughs> I guess not. Your Steam hacked or something? Oh, well, that's... That also sucks, and I also can't help you with that. I mean, in that case, I don't know, reach out to Steam support or hire a support or... I, I don't know. Hmm. Well, we are officially out of coffee for today, which means this will probably be my last match. We're also pretty close to the three-hour mark, but I got I got room in the tank for one more. We have matched the win rate of last stream as well, so this match determines whether our win rate will go lower than last stream or higher than last stream. And I hope we end off on a win, because that would be good. And also, we'd have a nice TP buffer in Master. <laughs> yeah, ta we have a nice TP buffer in Grandmaster, guys. Grandmaster, remember? Because I switched the leaderboard to Grandmaster, so now I'm a Grandmaster, right? Now we have 19 TP right now. We have a room for two losses, I think. But I'd like to get another win in the tank just to be even closer to Grandmaster, get even more progress towards Fernando. It's just good to win, right? Yeah. You could invite someone to make it go faster. That's true. But I don't know. I lost Kana. I'm just going to wing it. You're not Kana. Yeah, you're not Kana. You're not a streamer. Nah, it's not that. I just... I ran into Kana. That's the only reason I invited him, because I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> I'd rather not play against Kana. Strategy, right? <laughs> Otherwise, today would have been another solo queue day. Uh, solo queue day. Ah, but yeah, the ranked queue is a bit longer. We did have some good queues today, though. Reasonably fast. Earlier. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight matches in rank today. Three hours. So I guess we're averaging about two and a half matches an hour. Yeah, it could be way worse. I wish I could do like a bulk investigation of like, oh, let me go to the Paladin spot and then do my history, but specifically history with showing the ranks of everybody in the lobby. Just a really nice command. Because I am curious to see what, like, the average ranks are today. Maybe, uh, does Paladin's Guru still have a functioning match, match history? Because I know they haven't been updated in a good minute. But maybe it still works. I'll have a gander. Uh, hello? Okay, there we go. Andrew Chicken. 4,254 hours of raw playtime, baby. Let's go. Uh, it seems like some of the stats have, um, have been updated. I think these stats are a little bit behind, but my win-loss ratio is correct last I checked. Match history. Oh, it does work. Okay. So we can view the ranks here then. So this match, average Diamond 5 on my team, Plat 1 on their team. That's pretty close. Two golds, three diamonds on both teams, and then a Plat versus a Masters. So a bit unfair for the enemy team. And we did end up winning that. Uh, and yeah, that was better matchmaking than the last match, so. Alright, this match. Diamond 3 versus Diamond 3. All diamonds and I was the only master. That's very well matchmade. Diamond 4 versus Diamond 3. Enemy Androxus was masters. <laughs> I think he was the one I thought was cheating. I couldn't tell, because aim assist is that strong. But that was also very well matchmade. The matchmaking, for the most part, has been pretty good, it looks like, but for some reason that last match just completely fell apart. This one, teams. Diamond 3 versus Diamond 3. All Diamonds, one Plat versus one Masters. A little bit unfair for them, but still, not the worst. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, Corvus, Diamond 4 versus Diamond 3. All Diamonds, one Plat on their team. Somebody. I think they actually won that one, right? Yeah, they actually won that one. Okay, Willowban... Uh, we are a second pick, so we ban Dorval. They're banning your dudes. Ban somebody. Oh, and then it goes immediately to the Moji match. So I guess some of the competitive matches are just missing. <laughs> okay, thanks, Guru. Good enough for me, I guess. Okay, Khan band, Willow band, uh, Fernando band is this map. 
a lot of Jaguar Falls in ranked these days. Like, multiple streams in a row, I feel like I've had this map for multiple matches. I wonder if they, like, weighted it higher for some reason, or maybe I'm just lucky slash unlucky. I don't want to call it unlucky because I like the map, but yeah, it's kind of weird. Pick something already. Okay, Zin first pick. That's just annoying, man. Uh, pfft. well, I kind of just banned the tanks I'm enjoying playing at the moment. Fernando Torvald. I guess there's Makoa available. That's kind of risky considering they could pick a hit scan. Azan's available. Ash is available, or I could just DPS. They have Zin though. I mean, BK is a thing. Oh, we got Imani though. That's kind of based. Wait, hold on. If we're being base, then I'll play Makoa. Yeah, no did I just what? let the second pick entirely determine which tank I pick? Yes, I did. <laughs> is that the smartest way to go about it? Absolutely not. But do I care? No. <laughs> we play Makoa. I suggest using Paladin's Edge on mobile. It's made by a fellow, fellow Paladin's player who wanted a very easy to use and informative Paladin's data app. I haven't heard of that. That sounds interesting. Is it mobile only or can I get it on PC too? Like, is it a website? Well, I guess you said app, so it's probably not a website. I've been using the Ido bot recently and I vouch for it. It's very good. It's basically the, uh, I, I guess... I, it feels like Paladin's Assistant has passed the torch along to Ito, because I don't think Assistant gets updated anymore, and Ito has simply more stats. So, I really like that one. Bam, somebody. Mobile only from what I know, but there's a possibility it's a website. I'll check right now. That's interesting. That's very interesting. Okay, they went for Bomb King. We got Grover. Terminus on their team. That's a spicy choice. Since we already have our support, I will They're ban healers. So I'll ban Ying, and do I want to ban Io or Furia on this map? Or possibly Corvus, but something tells me they won't pick Corvus here. Maybe I'll be wrong, but I don't know. I I'm not feeling the Corvus on this one. Ban somebody. It also shows you active queues happening in real time. It's really good. Yeah, that sounds cool. I'm, I'm happy to learn about this type of stuff. I love supporting, you know, high-quality apps. Uh, that help out for Paladins, so. Yeah. Asan Band. Uh, Io or Furia. Io or Furia. Io or Furia. Io or Furia. Uh, I feel like they're more likely to pick Io here. They're so, your gonna ban Io. Hmm. Hmm. There's a website someone says. Hmm. Problem is, if there is a website, you can't exactly send the link in the chat because I do kind of, uh, <laughs> block links. 107 people on ranked in Japan, that can't be right. Yeah, you're right, that sounds too high. I I don't know much about Paladins, but I know that, like, NA, EU, LATAM are, like, the most popular servers, and then every other server is, like, really dead. I, I hear about the queue times in the Southeast Asia servers, and it's rough. You don't block li my links? Yeah, that's because uh, you're a VIP. You have to sign in with Google to use Paladin's Edge. Oh. That's false data. It says there's 107 ranked queues worldwide. What? Okay. Well, what's happening? Uh, they banned Talus. We picked Barrack. What's a nice flank here? Uh, well, uh, pretty much whatever you're comfortable on. I mean, yeah, you, you could literally do anything as long as you're good out of here in terms of flanks. That's a very mundane tank comp. Ash is pretty good on this map. Um, and I suppose Terminus can be too. They've got Namba, yeah. I must say, I really like these character choices from a perspective of being very cultured. Not a single hit scan, just projectile characters living in the moment. And then there's Buck, but you know what? Buck can pass. He's, he's short ranged. Sure. <laughs> Good enough. 
NA is 24 people, EU 70, weird. Yeah, there's definitely more than 24 people on NA ranked, I can tell you that for a fact. I have found more than 24 people today, and I'm queuing in Masters. And that's not accounting for the average amount of gold, plat, silver, bronze players. Yeah, there's no way that's accurate. Well, this looks very fun. Could also be a little bit annoying, because they have Zin. But I I'm okay with that. I'm just hoping to hit some good hooks. Hook them into Imani beams if I can. Or not beams. Well, I guess a beam. Uh, or what I meant to say was Imani roots. That would be pretty good. I think I said beam there because I'm thinking of like Furia beam and hooking people into that. Because that's really fun to do. And it's a similar concept. Hook them, root them, blow them up. This Level 6 Terminus. So and his name is Dead fun. Game. That's a bit silly. Uh, we could do half shell here or we could be based. How based do I feel like being right now? Ah, what the heck. Look at look at the players in this. Look at the champions in this lobby. I'm playing Leviathan. <laughs> I'm gonna be based. I wanna be based. Uh, and let's get some, uh... Wow, you're, like, really good. Uh, I don't know. Unbound will be good here. Nimble will be good for me. Kronos will be good. I think I'll do maybe, like, a Kronos unbound start. Kronos could be a mix between... <sighs> Mobility, survivability, unbound survivability. Should be good. More hooks as well. I appreciate that gifted sub, by the way. That's very nice. All right, let's go. Hello. Really good. Come here. He's gonna billow that. Oh, he countered instead and died to the root. That's exactly what I was talking about right there. The plays, man. All right, Terminus just got lit up. He's dead. Miss your stun. Come here. Damba right here. He's one. Ah, oh, man. He's playing Gord, so he has extra self-sustain, and it looks like that helped him out there. All right, come here. All right, Zane has all abilities done. Buck's going for it. He gets the kill. Good. Love that Buck play right there. All right, I'm going to start to back up. I need my healer to heal me. So let me get in the radius. Start to heal up. There we go. Stop it. He's really low. Got a right click and a gourd. Okay, he'll be fine. Wow, you guys in pushing left. Really good. Not gonna be able to hook that. He retreated. Are you still back? Ash is back. Shell spin combo. I have ults. Don't need it for her. All right, let's keep pushing. Oh, I missed that. All right, I'm just gonna go in. Come here. Boom. Uh, it's a bit awkward. Uh, okay. <laughs> Let me just back up. I think I made some mistakes here. Yeah. Oh, uh, thank you. Got a bailout from the Grover. Huh. Oh, I wasn't able to snipe that. Thought I could get lucky with the hitboxes. Sadly, not how that works. Oh, huge triple kill. I'm so glad I decided to be based. Imani gets the quad. Get your penta! I'm bringing him over here. Oh, No unofficial penta. Big sad. Popping off, though. Good job. Okay. And there we go. We push. She didn't even attempt to shoulder bash the point, and if she did, I would have had hook. Nice. I'm ready for my transformation sequence. Oh, did we get another gifted sub in here? Oh, we did. We got a sub to iCallum and a sub to Jiki from Crayon. And then, yeah, Callum gave a sub to Crayon. Very nice. I appreciate all the generosity, guys. And we are so close to a level 2 hype train. If we could just get one more sub in here, we'd have a level 2. Got two and a half minutes to do it. I mean, what the heck? Might as well, guys, right? Wouldn't it be fun? Capture point spawning in 15 seconds. See the icon, but I can't hear. Maybe the volume is low? Check audio settings, prob... Yes, I recommend a doctor. <laughs> Three, yeah. One. Maybe you just need a hearing aid. <laughs> Yo, with the Prime Sub coming in here, Loco Delgato giving us that level 2 hype train. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Uh, it just feels so good to see that go from like 97% or whatever it was right up to 100. Nope. Oh, crap. 
Okay, I'm shielding it. Got the dragon coming out. But Ash is right there, and she's immortal. Yeah, I'm not sure that was a good idea. Come here. I'm playing like I have ults, but I don't have ults. Oh. Rover with the bailout. That's huge. Kind of shield a little bit. They got a lot of emplacements here. They are kind of just free capping now. Ah! That's not who I wanted to hook. I'm dead. Uh, yeah, this is bad. Barrack's about to get dogpiled on point. We just need to reset. We do have ults to come back. Barrack, do not ult. Do not. Yeah. Hype good. bard. Yo, thank you so much for the bits. I appreciate that. Alright. I'm just gonna go for it. No, no, no. I have ultimate. Look at me. I'm big and spooky and scary. Look at me. Can I trade with BK before I die? I can. And I can help get Damba. We make the space. We got three kills. We should cap this here. Buck's going in with an ult. Grover's staying alive. Imani's staying alive. We got the Barrack ult on point. Yeah, we got this point. Good plays from the team. Uh, Terminus is ulting out. I'm not going to wait and spawn for Kratos. I want to make sure we have it. Looks like Barrack got knocked back. There we go. Yeah, just get back to that point. Shield's down. Are we going to pull her off point? We got to touch again now. I'm feared. Oh, boy. Don't like anything right now. Oh, I can't get that Maldamba. He was so low. Too much garbage in the way. We don't actually have this. I thought for sure we capped off those plays. But they really brought it back, didn't they? Holy crap. Well, well played to the enemies, I have to say. That was pretty good. Get a point over you, Juve. Womp womp. Womp womp. Womp diddy womp womp. Wow, that wasn't much of a shield at all, was it? Alright, I'm just gonna stop peeking that. Just feeding BK some damage. Out of position. Die. There we go. Man, I love hitting a hook like that and just watching someone pop. Such a good feeling. Uh, I think he was just out of range. Good root, though. I gotta shield this. Back up. Yeah, thank you very much for that. They're getting a lot of space right now. Oh, man. Oh, I missed that. No. Oh, my ult quite yet. Got that. Alright, thank you. Oh, I wasn't able to hook that. Okay, I guess I hooked a term. He's dead. Alright, good. Blow him up. DK's dead. Try and push them back right now. Shoulder bash. I dare you. Okay. Oh, she shielded it. <laughs> no. Unlucky. Get Term off his horse. Ooh, he just went past the wall. Okay. I'm gonna push bait. Uh, BK here. Oh, he actually ulted that. I wasn't able to hit the hook because of it. CC immunity. Okay. Well, there we go. Let's try and get some ult charge back. Blow up this ash. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Let's blow him up. Shell spin. Dude, okay. Let's go around and get the Stomba. No! Terminus was in the way. He was actually one, man. Alright, Buck got it. But we don't actually defend. Man. That's crazy. I feel like we're doing really good, but at the same time, they capped and pushed it. They're putting up a fight. This match feels really good, though. Like, even though we're losing now. I just love the champion roster in this match so much. <laughs> Maybe that's weird of me, but I feel like these are just really fun champion picks that we all have. Can you show Amani his loadout? Yeah, I got you. Discipline. Swift Seer. Draconic Will. Just a classic reset build. Pretty standard, I think. And she's doing a good job Four, getting kills. Three, Got that quad kill two, earlier. That was impressive. One. Let's go. 
All right, I'll pop around left again, and I will try and hit a good hook on somebody. Both tanks over here. All right. Got BK and popped. Worth it. That's their DPS down. Sin's fine. I fed that. We have Grover Rolt, so I think I'll... Oh, never mind. He's dead. He's very dead. Oh, I couldn't diff. I couldn't confirm the diff. Wait, he came back. Why did he do that when he was one shot? I'll hit that stun. Oh, man. I had tried so hard. At least I got the Zen. They got BK. Hopefully Buck can jump away. No, he's dead to Damba. Damba with the plays. Imani's flying away. She'll be okay. But Barrack's going to die on point. He's not going to be able to get healed. I'm glad he didn't waste ult. That would have been bad. Ooh, he saw me coming. He hit that billow button. Well played. Yellow. Okay, that's a grumpy bomb. I'll just shield it. Oh, hello. That died fast. Jeez, I'm trying to look for a hook right now, but... A lot of damage pressure. Alright, I'm just gonna go in. Hello. Blow up on me, please. Come here. Dead. Get that ash. Get that ash. Get that ash. Good job, Buck. Alright, and with those kills, we cap here. I mean, there's no way we don't cap, right? Of course, I did say that last time. We can hook him off the point. And there we go, we cap. Good. Hit those hooks. Alright. Let me push up. Ooh, bad hook. Kind of lag spiked there a little bit. Okay. There goes that shield. I'm gonna give Moni a shield so she can get out of here, hopefully. There we go. Help with that. Ooh, where are my hooks going right now? Hold on. Maybe I can hook him as he comes here. Nah, that was grumpy. <laughs> Let me hook the grumpy bomb towards me so I can get stunned. <laughs> that would actually be really funny if Makoa could do that. It would be a nerf, but it would be a funny nerf. I'd be okay with that. Okay, his shield's down. Let me shield for Barrack now. We need to get some kills. We want to push here. Oh, that looked like it went right through her. Man. All right. Oh, no. Okay. You know what? I'm just going to die here. Reset. Ah. Oh, we got another Prime sub in here from Grimtoon, I think. Thank you very much for that. Right, more rejuve. Just group up here. I know BK's spamming me. Yeah, he's gone. Not sticking around for a hook. Ooh, and he countered it. That was bad. For me. There's Grumpy there. I'm not going to push him like that. Oh, huge kill on Zin. Where have my hooks gone? I have not hit a single hook this entire push. I just forgot how. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, man. Oh, crap. Hit that stun. Killed Grover a little bit. Alright, we're fine. We're fine. Oh, Okay, good. Can't hit that hook. There's a shield in the way. I can, however, grab BK down here. There we go. Huge. Imani's pushing right. I will go up here with her and help out. Oh, too slippery. Bringing out Imani for this. She wants it. I'm going to go back here. Got Zin back here on Imani. Help. He's one. There we go. Pop that. I think we can win. I think we can win. No! I'm bad. I'm trash. If we lose because of that, I'm going to be so salty. Fear's out. Let me shield for these guys. Barrack ult's here. That's huge. Pop the term. He's bringing out ult, though. I'm just going to go after Damba. He's going to stun me. JK, I got him. We build the hook. He's gonna die to Buck, though, I think. But the counter doesn't matter, and we still win. Oh my gosh. Wow, that was a fun match. That was a really fun match. Even if we lost that, 
that was that was still a good game. That was really fun. I feel so embarrassed about those two hooks on Ash, though. I, I feel like they were so close, but so far at the same time, man. <laughs> GG's, though. 19 kills from Buck, 18 kills from Imani. I saw Buck really taking good opportunities there when he saw someone get low. Really smart on his end. I actually got top damage on the team with Mako. That's actually pretty rare. When do you see that happen? Leviathan, though. Heck yeah. They're saying their Dombo is kind of bad. Yeah, it is unfortunate that he went Gord. Gord's not good. I think this match is proof of that. But Zinso got 12 kills. Term actually got a good amount of kills for, you know, Terminus. BK could have done better. They were just really fun characters to play against. We had really fun characters on our team. I just, I really liked that. Missed a lot of hooks. I missed a, I, I missed a decent amount of hooks. It wasn't my worst hook game ever, and I hit a lot of good hooks at the start. That was a fun match to end off on, though. We got 11 TP from that, climbing up through Masters. Climbing the leaderboard, baby. And, uh, yeah, that's what we're going to call it here. So if you guys have enjoyed, make sure to follow me here on Twitch. Check out YouTube. Check out Discord. Links are in the About section down below. If you want to support me like so many people have done right here at the end of the stream, I would really appreciate it if you would consider subscribing. You get to watch ad-free, and you get a bunch of extra perks, including, by the way, uh, if you're on the Discord server and your accounts are linked, you can use your sub emotes on Discord and... There's a special VIP lounge where you can talk with other subs, talk with me. I'm usually pretty active there. There's a wallpapers chat where you can get access to some cool champion wallpapers. There are a lot of perks, so really appreciate it if you would check that out. And if you have Amazon Prime, you can do it for free. So, yeah, very nice. And uh, lastly, I guess I can also shout out the Nexus. Nexus.gg slash Andrew Chicken. can buy crystals there and support the channel directly in the process. And, uh, yeah, that's officially affiliated with Evil Mojo. Great way to support the channel. Let's go raid Snoopy. I saw him in here earlier. He's doing some ranked. Send on over the raid. Hope you guys enjoy some more ranked content. And yeah, I will see you all next time. Pa -pa 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 Peace out.